Hey now, it's Mr. Know-It-All. Seems like it's been a while. Oh, it's only been a week? All right, maybe I'm mistaken. But this week, on the Mr. Know-It-All podcast, I got a couple of special guests with me. My two brothers, Sin Marcellus and your boy Ox. Rap extraordinary. We're going to talk about music. We're going to talk about love and relationships as well, kind of like we always do. Me and Kelly Q are definitely always here holding it down. So just get ready. Buckle up once again. Episode 147. It's on its way. Niggas think they know me, they don't know me at all You really foolish if you think I climb this high and I fall Been through everything they said would come and break me for sure They closed the window, changed the lock, so I broke right through the door And you should know by now, defeat is what you take it as I've been in the lab to get a bag like it was breaking bad I come with the toast and crack and shell and then I'm breaking fast Mr. Know-It-All is here, so don't you change the station, man I get to the bed like it's all I know all right, man, welcome back. Uh, I'm not going to do all the intros and whatnot. You know who this is. It's the Mr. Know-It-All podcast. Uh, this is part two of episode 146. So I guess it would be considered episode 147. Should I do that? Yes. All right, so it's episode 147. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's just, let's, let's, let's just, do, let's just do everything that I normally do. Well, but first and foremost, let's start off with something that I found. Oh, hell. I'm mm-hmm. Let's go! Wow. I'm, I'm deadly when I pull the pin out. I want to start a war. What the motherfucking leave? You soon expire. Guess, guess who's back? Critically We do own the rights to this music. I'm deadly when I pull the pin out. I want to start a war. When I'm around, something special happen every time. Talk about glory days. I'm low go with the vocals and silly with the snare. Drill him in the air. Yup, yup, them Philly niggas here. See a game full of tough talk and really niggas scared. Quit rap to be a preacher. Yeah, really nigga, yeah. I swear your damn rapping is more pathetic than hand jacket. This pussy is the current state of mass fashion. 100, you ain't a goon cause you're mad yapping. You play the flute on the tour bus, nigga, now that's a bad racket. I'm so ill, I need a damn aspirin. I'm fantastic. You get the shaft roll like Sam Jackson. I'm on your prairie with hurricanes like an ugly ass. Sam's a bar. He says a bar in his verse See, this is that I cracked up about, about no back then. Bag in the and I just remembered it when I listened to it. For the birds like Hitchcock, all in his slaughterhouse. All these dudes is piss mines. I'm, I'm deadly when I pull the pin out and I start a war. What the motherfucking leaves you soon expire. Yep, yes, yes, it's back. Critically acclaimed. It's the league. I'm deadly when I pull the pin out and I start a war. What the motherfucking leaves you soon expire. When I round, city ball. Damn sick, you prince to have a better chance die in a chest head dandruff. Against us, you can't do well. So when the flow off, you ain't got a snowball's chance in hell, nigga. Your whole click weaker than a cancer cell. So fuck with us, they get uglier than sand cause sell the pump will bust. If I work this gauge, I feel you with more pellets than the bottom of a German cage. I got the fans disturbed and crazed. I got a buzz like a German fade. How does a furnace flame? Sick as the germ when a sperm with AIDS and a burning pain when an outbreak hurt the stage. And I'm crooked as a St. Ives, the flow can make paint dry They irritated every time I drop like thank God These niggas dookie, your rap's about a whole lot of nothing The M. Night Shyamalan movie I'm, I'm deadly when I pull the pin out and I start a war What the motherfucking leaves you soon expire Hey, hey, yes, hey. yes who's back We own the right to this music, oh I'm deadly when I pull the pin out and I start a war What the motherfucking leaves you soon expire When I'm around, something special happen every time you better get your mind right, lightweight, the right date Get him a long kiss, get night found in a tight space And I place myself in the top bracket Wonder what set the number one seed, it's not happening Can you imagine the league taking a loss? Maybe, but when you wake up, you're still staying the boss I ain't playing at all, you can slap in the grill Fly niggas, I learn a hard way to grab it and kill Little niggas, the one to battle me, shit, my faculty's ill This member will dismember action 
actually kill Running away on your hands, legs under your arms Speaking out the side of your mouth like you Charlie Brown moms With roller balls under my schlong, a born weapon Great nephew of a tech and the son of a bomb Most niggas running me on, so I'm here now Clear out, drop from the sky, looking for cities to tear out I'm deadly when I pull a pen out, wanna start a war With the motherfucking hey. leaders on expire We own the rights to this music back. It's the league. I'm deadly when I pull a pin out and start a war. What the motherfucking league so expired? When I round, something special happened every time. I swear to you, when I start a Patreon, I'm gonna have a whole portion of it dedicated to all league music. Everything, all league and team super dope music. And hey, listen. The one thing that I don't talk about a whole, whole lot on the Mr. Know-It-All podcast, and I used to say it a lot, um, I used to say Haku, a.k.a. Michael Voorhees, if you want to be rapping about it. But right now, I'm sitting with two of my niggas that was the dogs that I ran with. Pin game impeccable on both ends. Of course, I'm Mr. Know-It-All. Um... Your favorite podcaster's favorite podcaster, even if you didn't know we podcasted. Um, America and podcasting's lovable smartass. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, beside me is the diva, the custer, Kelly Q. Next to her on the mic is my man, O to the is X. Yo, yo, yo. Ox up? in the building. <laughs> Welcome back, good brother. Welcome back. It's been a while. And to the right of me, my man, the city star, Cinema, Sin Marcellus, all that. I ain't gonna give his government. Up, yeah, my nigga though. My, you can't hear me. Oh, oh. I can't hear him. Oh, you can't hear him. Oh, oh, you know what? Say something, sir. Yo, yo. Oh, that's why, cause the nigga, he's throwing this Barry White. Let me just. <laughs> My fault, y'all. You telling me this and telling me that. All right, say something else. Hey. Yeah, there yeah. we go. There we go. Let's the, go. The projection. All right. Get with us on IG at Mr. Underscore Know It All Underscore Pod. The Facebook fan page, Mr. Know It All Podcast fan page, Mr. Know It All Podcast on TikTok. And please send us all your fuckery, duckery, and schmuckery over to the Gmail account at Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. That's Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. All righty then. Well, we back. And, um, Part two. yeah, you got damn right. I got the same shirt on. Fuck all y'all. Yes, yes, yes. This is the same Me night. Me too. This is two weeks apart. Yeah, and I didn't change my clothes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here. This, this, the, that's the name of the game. What's happening, YouTube land? Appreciate the numbers. The YouTube numbers is is is, is getting is getting nice, okay. especially organically. So thank you, Taya. Taya's still with us. She in the cut. Yeah. She'll 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 be saying something when it's time to say something. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate appreciate all that she does. All right. So I got Sin here. I got Ox here. And um, we gonna talk about a few things. You know what I'm saying, but I had to have you niggas back. How y'all feeling, man? What's 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 up? Who want to go first? Who, you I'm, know what I'm saying? I'm here on business. Yeah, Franklin Saint voice. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> this nigga Ox, what's up with you, man? Man, um, I don't know, man. It depends on like what we talking about. Everything's up. Nothing's down. Did you uh, just hit me with a sky in the ceiling? How you feeling, type thing? Nigga? <laughs> That's the nigga said. The sky in the ceiling, nigga. So how you feeling? Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> I could dig it. I could dig it, man. But no, man. I I I wanted to have y'all down here, or whatnot, because um, uh, I'm in a much different place as we all are. You know what I'm saying? And last time y'all was here was about three years ago. Yeah. Y'all was Ooh. here right right before COVID came down. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Send it two episodes. Ox, you came for. The last one we did was Petty Petty 2020. It was the first episode. The first episode? Oh, it was the last episode of, of 2019. Okay. Damn. God damn. Um, yeah, it was early, it's, Right. It was, it was much early. As you can see, there's a whole lot more shit going on down here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, evolution. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Just, you know, that's just kind of the name of the game, evolution. We just talked about it upstairs. You know what I mean? Just, I used to listen to y'all. You did. You did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Us changing and not being the same. Um... Yeah, man. So what's what 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 is life? What has been going on with with everybody? 
what whatever you want to disclose. You know what I'm saying? You know, you talk about whatever you want to talk about, but I want before I get into whatever topics that we're going to talk about, I want to, you know, hear hear where your mind is at. Who want to start? Um, I go first, I guess. Go ahead. Um, well. Like, when it comes to, like, the music thing, you know, that was my thing for a very long time. Absolutely. I stepped away from that mm-hmm. a few years back. Mm-hmm. Then I kind of, like, um, slowly kind of crept back into it a little bit. Okay. And I've been working towards building up some some momentum and where I want to go in the next few years with it. Okay. And um, for pull, me, You pull the mic closer to you, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Am I loud enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak right. like, yeah, I want you to get a little loud. All right. right. Um, so, I'm trying to pull some things together. In terms of like um, my next project, because I do plan on dropping an EP. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to wrap up my chapter of my mixtape saga. Um, when animals, when animals attack, attack. Mm-hmm. I want to. Right, right. I want to, but I don't mm-hmm. know where I'm at with that. I'm gonna have to see later on. Two mm-hmm. consecutive classics, by the way. Absolutely. Oh, shit. Absolutely. I, you know, being honest, I think the second one was definitely <laughs> the first one was just like that was just me trying some things, but whatever. Sorry. Yeah, I, you know, well, music <laughs> is the only thing that that music and very few movies the only time that where you can make a sequel and you yeah. can tell that, that, that you feel like it's better than the original. That's kind of the wave, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Evolution, like you said, you got to respect your own evolution too, of course. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. Um, in the meantime, I just been you know living my life, trying to take care of what I'm trying to take care of. Yeah. Trying to be there for my family, especially in the times that we're living in right now. No, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Um, yeah. There's a lot of divisiveness, a lot of, um, and the people's attention spans are short as they ever been. Um, yeah. Empathy is at an all-time low. <laughs> you, <laughs> you ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just trying mm-hmm. to, um. Make a word for the sermon on Sunday. Yeah. No, you're right about that, yeah. though. You, you, so, you ain't trying never to perfect the human experience the best of my ability. Perfect the human experience. I like that. I like <laughs> that. Perfect the human experience. I like that a lot. Right man. Yeah, man. Sam, what's up with you, baby? I mean, same shit, different day, man. Like, I mean, I'm just living, you mean, you know, ghost writing. Well, I was doing that for a minute. I kind of slowed down on all of it. I mean, I know everybody was like, oh, what happened to the music? What happened to the rap and all of that? I used to do all of that. I mean, listen, let me clear the air because people keep calling me a rapper. All right. I only rap with these dudes. <laughs> That's it. That's the only right. time I have a rat. Right, right, right. I'm a ghostwriter, professional ghostwriter. So, okay. you know what I mean? Let's clear the air on that. What the hell yeah. is the difference? Uh, the difference is I rap because y'all my homies and y'all ask me to. Okay. All right. All right. Understood. <laughs> right. All right. All right. I mean, all right. I, listen, right. that's what that's what everybody and everybody got it confused because they thought I was like up and coming rapper. And I just want to clear the air and say, um, when you go back and you look at all of those like DVDs and all of the Philly rappers and all of that, mm. and then you like see me wherever you spotted me. Like I had jury on. Like I was I was doing way better than them niggas. So like, yeah, man. <laughs> 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 Same old sin. The nigga ain't changed a bit. God damn. So you know what I mean. Uh, like, you know what I mean. But uh, fast forward to now, um, I'm starting to get back into it a little bit. Like I took a I took a break. Um, simply because like I kind of like lost my foot in with music. I had like a, a wild wild last few years, and I definitely had a wild last six months. Everybody close to me know what's up. Mm-hmm. But um, you know I'm starting to get back into it. I hit the restart button. So if y'all wanted to hear uh actual music from me instead of me being the man behind the man uh pause if that's still okay to say in 2023 um it's not man. well it's i'm not. gonna say it anyway <laughs> stop it. it's not do something about it <laughs> Go but, oh um, shit but uh no nah, no nah, if y'all actually want to hear music from me um it's definitely some more in a way i mean so let me just announce it here right on, on my on my homies platform on my 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 my, my lifelong childhood friends podcast uh i picked the pen back up so y'all got about mm, six months to do something to move out the way man good shit what he good said shit. what he said yeah absolutely uh yeah i mean as as he kind of you know said yeah we used to we used to rap a lot together that was our thing before any of this shit okay, you so know ever took place and, not, and yeah we we were just we was rappers and we rapped you know what i mean that's what we did we did it exceptionally well exceptionally you know what i'm saying like that was yeah exceptionally well um i'm a little bit different this is kind of my space now this is my i don't want to say that my con- this was my contingency plan because i fell out of i fell out of love with 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 rapping long before i decided to do a podcast 
And the reason why I did is because I was one, I'm a person of principle. Like, I, I to me personally, I feel like they're, the landscape of what I wanted to accomplish in hip hop to kind of, you know, not only do it as an artist, but to, to show the world that, that it's an art form that needs to be respected. I feel like it's being completely and utterly pissed on and watered down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and it's become a shell of its former self. So that kind of like steered me in, 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 in a whole different direction of, of, of exactly how I wanted to take it. And to be perfectly honest with y'all, man, I'm going to keep it a thousand. I've not written a bar since 2015 that is real shit like 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 and that was my life i was writing i was writing a verse a day at times or whatnot i have not written a bar since 15 i wrote a bar before i came here i wrote like a verse oh yeah (laughs) i I was at the bar before i came (laughs) (laughs) oh man i'm at the bar on tuesday nights bar cash shout out to them you know what i'm saying but um yeah, man, like, like to be perfectly honest with you, it, it, it's one of those things where for me, the love always had to be there. You know what I'm saying? And and it's just, just wasn't. But the funny thing about it is that so I've entered this space now. And the weird thing about this space is that this is becoming the new rap game. I agree. You and know what I'm saying? I actually think it suits you better because now you, you can talk shit without even having to rhyme. You ain't never lied. Yeah. You ain't never you ain't never lied, and that that's that's the thing about it or whatnot. I could be quick with it and with it. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, I talk a lot of shit. Yeah, you could have put if you would have put a microphone and some cameras in our like sessions at the studio, it would have been a podcast. It would have been a podcast. podcast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 100%. That was that was kind of the name of the game. That's where all the shit came from and whatnot. Like like and essentially when I first started doing this, you know, I mean that was what it lent itself to. It was like all right, the niggas that I that I rock with. You know what I'm saying? We should do podcasts. And the only thing about it is that this, this takes more than just setting up and shooting the shit. I didn't even realize the type of effort that this takes when, when I first started it. And now that we're here, I've now dug myself into a place where I am so invested and dug in that remember, remember when we used to talk about when we was rhyming. When you wake up in the morning, this is all you think about. Before you go to bed, it's all you think about. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, like, listen, this is my place. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm realizing that my art form has turned to the point where it's like, it's not about me not rapping anymore or whatnot. It's still me talking to people. It's just that this is the form in which I do it. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm trying to crack the code between that and figuring out what the fuck a stream is worth. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? Building a value up of a brand in itself. Because you can do this shit here, and I can come out with a rap album tomorrow, and if I was at the top, listen to this, they'd be like, this podcast, nigga, is rapping. You know what I mean? Like, like so at the end of the day, I'm just lending myself to a space that I, you know what I mean? It may be the hot commodity right now, and it may be a million of them out here, but at the end of the day, 999,000 yeah. are, are fail. Thank you know what I mean? Quick. Miserably. What's that? Um, do you think this is um a, a better setup for your form of expression than music was or I think that it's a um I don't know if it's a better expression I think it's more of a um evolution Yeah it's kind of yeah it's kind of an evolution a evolution along yeah. with 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 what I would consider um kind of a quick fix kind of a quick quick layout version okay. You know before you you know what I mean you know before you wrote a verse I mean, most of the time I used to dive right into the verse, you know what I'm saying, and flow off or whatever. But sometimes you had specific, particular things you wanted to say. Like if it was something that was current events, you wanted to put that current event in the bar. So you would write, I would jot that down at the top of the paper, make sure that you incorporate that into this. Mm-hmm. Essentially, that's kind of what I do, like on a regular basis. Like, like dog, I do so much fucking talking. It's it's ridiculous. My life is a podcast. And, and I love this shit. I fucking love this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it, it still gives you something to be passionate about and it puts you in a space in which that you could talk that shit. I have somebody that that I'm um, that, that does consultant work uh, uh, for me and with me. And he became like not only a podcast consultant, he became like a life coach. And, and now essentially we're going to go into like partnership. And he's in, he's in Georgia. He's in Atlanta. 
And, you know what I mean, he just hit the record button on something the other day. And as raunchy as I get, like I got, I realized that it's just like writing rhymes. The different types of facets that you can go. I talk about eating ass over at the bar cast. You know what I'm saying? On a regular basis. We talk talk nasty shit. You know what I'm saying? We talk, we get wild. I'm recording over the bar. You know what I mean? A crush. I come in here and we can have all, we can have an array of conversations all across the board. I need to go on the bar cast so yeah. I can grind y'all up for being freak body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but then when I then when I, I do it with him, we incorporate talk the technical the technical aspect, the you know, the the um uh, conditions in the black communities and also what type of what type of faith based things are incorporated in that. Because he's more of a faith faith based guy. So it lends itself to all different types of things and whatnot. I never thought that I would be on, on like like trying to be on the road to be like an Oprah type. But damn. Who would have known? Who would have known? I mean, I, I talk, and I talk a whole lot. So what happens is that, hey, listen, nigga, I already know it all ass. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and talk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Put the mics in front of you and fucking talk. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's exactly what it is. Maybe I'll find an itch to write you know, write some bars or something like that. And, you know what I mean? It's never a situation that's off the table, but my thing is always going to be communication. I got a question. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you this right here. Because, you know what I mean, this is the form for me to do it. Right. What would it take to get the band back together? The band can get back together and do everything that we want to if the band as a conglomerate would decide that it's important to be dedicated to the band. 100% agree with that. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, like, I think a lot of times what happens is life life. You know what I'm saying? Life, life. And it's not to shift it off on nobody else or whatnot. At the end of the day, if hip-hop would have stayed the way that I wanted, we wanted hip-hop to be, it would have, it would have been no problem. The trajectory would have been exactly that. We come from a, a early 2000s form of, of, of rhyming. We've come, we come from a place in which that it was, it was the boom bap, it was the symphony playing, it was the strings, it was, you know, what I mean the high, you know, the hi hats and the key, you know, all that shit. When, as it started to shift, some of our shit, even though we put more effort into our shit than they did, it became archaic because they don't give a fuck about none of that shit no more. It's more about what rocks for whatever show, whatever party, whatever, you know, what I'm saying. So that's what I mean by. The branding means more than the actual music these days. Now, see, here, here's the thing about that, right? The, the branding always matter. Like, yeah, no, you know, you're this right. This is this is this is coming from somebody who, like I said, I think they do a momentarily. That's a fact. Branding. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, when that. you when you listen to the stuff that we came up on, right, right, that stuff is still good now. Exactly. Right, right. This stuff that they're listening to doing fast now, food. yeah, it, absolutely, it's fast food. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fast t- food. It's, t- it's TikTok art. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's, it's for clips. The more, this is the this more, is what I was saying. Like uh, the 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 era that we came up in, like you were saying, right? You know what I mean? Like the the branding was always a thing. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The thing now is, I think we as you know, what I mean, because I, I think it's safe to say we all OGs in the game now. Mm-hmm. Um, we are still stuck in the mind frame that what you hear on the radio, what you hear on TikTok, is what's popping. And that's it. Like it, it, that nobody's checking for anything else, and nothing could be further from the truth. Yeah. This yeah. is coming from this is coming from somebody who, like I said, was a professional ghostwriter for for decades. Right. Like, right. Professional. Like I wasn't writing for fucking Ronnie up the block. Like, right. Professional. I've written hit records. For right. People. Right. So, like the the melodies and all of that. That's what people are checking for. But there's also people who do the same thing that we used to do, who are still packing out shows because now it's just about organic fan base like what people aren't acknowledging is record labels are becoming archaic yes I, that that i do agree Ma- with major you. major right. labels are becoming That's archaic because now you can do it yourself yeah yeah so absolutely i was getting way more money from just joe schmo who has an organic underground fan base was paying me 10 and twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars to 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 write his his verses or come up with his melodies or whatever, right. as opposed to me having a, a, a block of of songs that I had to do for these label people and they was giving me five thousand dollars a pop. For a song. Right. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So at the end of the day, 
you can do whatever it is that you do. Yeah, and yeah. Find your niche. Like you said, like you, you got those niches you can fall into. No, absolutely. You can right. find your niche and find your groove and fall into line with that and build an organic fan base and be a multi-millionaire that nobody hears on the radio. Look at Tech 9 I don't know when the last time I heard a Tech 9 song. No, absolutely. I don't know when the last time I heard a Hopson song on the radio. I don't know yeah. when I heard, like some of these people, like like Russ and all, like these people came out of nowhere. Yeah. They already had organic. Feel like when, who, 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 I don't know if y'all ever heard, but there's an artist named Belly. You yeah, I remember. I, mean? I know Belly. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I mean. Belly it's it's, mm-hmm. it's uh, what's yeah. what's the dude? What's the dude? Uh, came out of nowhere. Uh, he he, uh, he had like a hit record. I want to say maybe two years ago. That I'm a pretty boy. I'm stunting. Supersonic speed. I'm running. Like two right. years ago, it was on like every car commercial. It was on every like like commercial. Like yeah, maybe yeah. six months ago. Right, right. Came right. out of nowhere. Yeah, because yeah. they they have organic. Fan bases. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Curtis, no, you know, Curtis Waters. You know, that was his name. Curtis about, Waters. I will say one thing about. Um, I understand what you're saying, and that makes a lot of sense, because there are a lot of people that have organic fan bases that don't have a lot of um industry like kind of backing in a sense or whatever. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But at the same time, I, one thing I've I've learned about the industry is a lot to do with favor and mm. whose favor. Mm. That's you a know, fact. Yeah, yeah. That's that's an absolute. Worry about you know like um, I don't yeah. want to. I just I just don't want to owe certain people, you know. I don't. I agree want to be with that. Under certain people's thumb, certain people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because everybody doesn't have the best intentions with mm. your heart. Yeah, that's very that's, that's very, that's very true. Thing. That's that's very true. I'm gonna do you a favor, but one day you gonna owe me a favor. Yeah. And when you go in not knowing what that favor is gonna yeah. be, at, mm-hmm. you're at you're at their will. It's no, a, it's, yeah. it's a dick suck. Yeah, no. I be hearing could be very so, yeah. well be. Uh, uh, again, I professional with, ghostwriter. I think with Jesus. the music, Listen, some crazy the lyricists stuff goes that we came up with, it was I've so heard some stories. It was so various. It was so many different type of. We had hip hop, rap as a genre, mm-hmm. but it was so many different types. You know, right. you had Fresh Prince and, and Jazzy Jeff mm-hmm. with the fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Then you That's had okay. Chuck D with, you know, Chuck D, X-Clan with your mental. Right. You had so much different type of hip hop mm-hmm. that you can change your mood just by what you're listening to. Yep. Right. Now right. you listen to the stuff that's out now. And it all sounds the same. See, that, that and goes back. they're all going down the same road. And it's just like. That, that goes boy, back to what I was saying. To me yeah. Where that, like, it all sounds the same. Like, I don't understand how my son listens to it. Like, it goes back to what I was saying. Like, we're, we're, like you said, you could turn on the radio and hear all of that. It was all encompassing. Mm-hmm. Right. You might hear PM Dawn and then MC yes. Hammer come on. And then right. you hear Cypress Hill come on after that. It'll be a Wu Tang song after. Th- that's you know, what we came up on. Right. right. Yeah. Where now it just all kind of sounds the same on the radio. But the thing is, that's just that lane. That's just the radio. Like when you go to TikTok, you'll hear all different kind of things. Mm-hmm. You'll, right. you'll hear all different kind of songs being played. If you go on SoundCloud, you, it's all different kind of things. And they're all blowing up. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, they aren't being clocked on di- like radio spins, right. which is which is actually they, better because you understand that it's not. It's not under the thumb of somebody that's taken because these there's exactly. nothing but three sixty deals being signed, regardless. That's they get a, a cut, they get a cut of Ugly. everything. So essentially, this the, the the time that we live right. It does lend itself to that. It's just the fact that as an artist, and the one thing that I can say is that the creative side of me, especially now, you know what I'm saying. I'm moving a creative and a business space. Um. This shit, everything that I do, I do completely and utterly on my own when we start talking about where the muscle comes from. You know what I mean? It was only but recently where I bought Taya aboard to do things, you know what I mean, for for, for social media. And and as this this grows, which it is starting to grow, you know what I mean, she'll more than likely take a more prominent role in a lot of the things that that, that we're gonna do, especially behind the scenes. The biggest thing that I that I I'll, I'll say and because I even saw it when I was doing, you know, the Craft Master shows is that. I miss those. Yeah, I do too. Um, it, it, it's one of those things where when you find yourself doing doing a lot of things by yourself, you 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 can burn out quickly. Yeah. You know what I mean? You become exhausted. Yeah. 
and and it's and I'm talking about physical exhaustion. I'm talking about you got nine hours of sleep and you still tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that that I was telling Kelly last week when his fucking phone rings and when it when it it chirps, it gives me anxiety now. Because the problem with it is now is that it's it's my regular life. I got a son in college. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know, you know, a daughter that's that's getting ready for high school and whatnot. I got I you know what I mean, I gotta, you know, figure out what's going on with his, you know, make sure that his financial aid and all that is a go. I mean, he's full ride, but I gotta make sure I fill out the FAFSA and all that. I gotta right. you know what I'm saying, you know, I mean I'm married, so I gotta, you know, deal with it that. And then not only that, I'm looking at my own mortality in the face as as I grow middle age. I'll be I'll be forty in 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 a week and a half. Oh, I'm sorry, a week and a day. So now I'm starting to think to myself like, yo, shut up, y'all. It, it's my truth. You, it's my truth. Old. I know. But my thing is always going to be, you know, what I mean, it, it's between that and then it costs a hundred dollars just to walk outside. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like like I like, swear to God, I just said that. The I, <laughs> like it costs the crazy thing costs is a bean to go outside, bro. Go outside ever worse. since the pandemic. It's gonna yeah. get worse. It's gonna get worse. So we definitely all gotta strap up financially, make sure that we got everything we need in place. And even that might not like scave off like what's coming. No, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's 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 the truth. And, and the one thing that I can say is that but to find a pocket, like I talk about this a lot, you know what I'm saying? And we'll we, we can move on after this. I talk about Something, you know what I'm saying, with my man, shout out to John. You know what I mean, my, uh, you know, the, the financial advisor and, you know, podcast advisor, whatever you want to call him. It's about finding, finding what's in between your fear and then your courage. Because what's in between that, that's your God-like. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the movement. That's the place that everybody wants to be. We talk about two sides to a coin. It's three sides to a coin. We just don't ride the side of the coin that we need to ride because we find our way comfortable on one side or another. You know what I'm saying? So when in when there's a creative side and there's a business side, you know what I'm saying? So what happens is that we ride that creative wave, and that's what happened, you know what I mean, essentially with the league. We was creatives. You know what I'm saying? We was creatives. We The, the music spoke for itself. You know what I'm saying? We know the first thing about when you flip it over or whatnot, what we got to do in order to make the business side of it operate. So, therefore, we're deficient on one side. But what we need to do is we need to learn that as well and have somebody dedicated to that as well. And that's the, Absolutely. Big, that's the big thing. Having a team of people around you, of people that understand what the shit is, that's the toughest thing in the world. That's the toughest thing in the world. I stumbled across Ty on happenstance. We got a mutual friend, and, 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 and she lends her, her situation lends itself to, hey, listen, I've done what you're doing before, and I did it for a long time. So essentially what I want to do is maybe I can lend myself into, you know, the, the, your space in this capacity. And, the, you know, what I mean, playing the, the tail side of the coin. And what happens is that I'm learning both ends. I'm learning both ends, both sides of this now. And it's, it's stressing, but it's marvelous. 360 degrees of wisdom. A- absolutely. You got it. Like, you got to have that in one way, shape, or form. And, and. With me now, it's like, like I'm all in. So, so I don't do nothing but put my pressure on myself to make this shit grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, like every camera I put in here, every piece of lighting, every paint I do, like, like everything is premeditated. So when I do shit like talk about women and support, that's a big fucking deal to me. The reason why is that because ain't nobody gonna support you like you, but. You at least want to have somebody that that identifies with you. And I'm starting to meet people in my life now after three years of doing this that are now lending themselves to un to having an understanding and can lend themselves to say, hey, yo, do this, do that. Or maybe you should try this. Maybe you should think like this. Like, yo, don't sell yourself short because of this. But then you also, when you got that, you got the fucking vultures. You got the people that that's along for the ride. Off of the wave, the roadie, the motherfucker. They they don't write no raps. They don't write no raps. They don't make no beats. You know what I'm saying? They just they just, they just know you. You know what I'm saying? And that's you know what I mean. It's that's I said. It didn't, it never changes. It's it's the rap game. This this I am in the I am the new in a newly evolved rap game that they have now found a way to monetize. You know what I'm saying? That's that's exactly what it is. But now we on music though. Let's talk for a second. Let me let's talk my drink. Let let's talk let's talk because I want to talk this um. This top 25 hip-hop artists of all time. 
You niggas are perfect for this shit because I wanted to bring y'all in on this. Please pull up. Yes, Kelly, thank you. Please pull up this top top twenty five hip hop artist list. Who 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 did it? Was it Billboard? Uh, no. Nah, I wait for my get a little colder. So, who boy? I I don't remember who it was. Was heard about this because there's two lists i want to talk about i want to talk about that and i want to talk about the hip-hop influencer list by billboard Compton. never mind fuck billboard uh you know what i'm saying but but billboard is the you know there's certain things that are that the are the authority for the masses yeah like you remember man we live in a world of group think mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying group think that's what it is man you you can't yeah. surveying individuals don't work that way because you can't get in you can't get it to the masses that's the reason why in february they did the 50 they did it the, was it 50 Oh yeah, oh yeah, um, oh yeah. Damn, you get these beers on the top. No, <laughs> hey Corona, if you want to cut a check, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you gonna get a check from Pfizer? This mine or, or, or uh, 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 <laughs> I got you. With that. Mm. But um, oh. yeah, I got this right here. Oh. So, all right. So which one are we talking about? Are we gonna talk about this billboard? billboard. All right, all right. So it's billboard, but they did fifty. All right, so let's just let me know where you. I don't even it. want. I don't want the top twenty because. To me, that's irrelevant. Damn, that freezer stink. That's why I got this candle down here. I don't want the top 20. Start, can I, start, start. Can I tell you who number 50 is? Who's number 50? Rick Who's Ross. That? That's about right. Go to, um, go. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. To, <laughs> nigga. Look, yo. Never mind, you know. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry, about I just feel like we need to run them all down. All right, all right. So, you know, all right, all right. Let's so, go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right, 50 was Rick Ross. 49, right. Rev Run. 48, Melly Wait. Mel. Mm-hmm. And this is wait wait this is the top all, fifty what? This is f- top fifty rappers of all time. So let 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 her keep going, and we're not going we're not going to start talking until maybe about fifteen. I'm gonna just let y'all lead the way for real, for uh, real, because I you know I got something to say about it. Yeah yeah yeah. No, go ahead go ahead go ahead. Forty nine Reverend. Uh huh. Hey, Forty eight Melly Mel. Yeah, no, go ahead go ahead keep going Kelly. Uh forty what forty eight Melly Mel. Okay. 47 MC Light. Mm-hmm. This is for MC right here. Uh, 46 Jadigus. Right. Keep talking to Mike. Got Ice anything Day. to say about that, Ox? That's the 44 fucking Queen terrible. 44 Queen Latifah. Bun B, 43. Mm-hmm. Red Man, 42. What? E40, 41. Wait, wait. They put E40. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Keep, keep going. Dr. Keep going. Dr. Dre, 40. Right, right. E40. Dr. Dre. Ludacris, 39. Uh-huh. 40. Who wrote this? Gucci Gucci Mane. 38. <laughs> Why the fuck is he on the Gucci list? Gucci Mane. He should have been 51. <laughs> Nigga should have been 175. Like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Common. Please. Common. 37. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Most Deaf. 36. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that's uh, yeah, that's disrespectful. Future. 35. What? Chuck D. 34. Busta Rhymes. 33. Oh my disrespect. God. That is nerdy. Ti. 32. T- Kim. 31. Hill, Lauren Hill, 30. What? The- At 30? At 30. 30, nigga. Pusha T, 29. That's disrespectful, too. Black Thought, 28. Okay, can I can I just stop nope. you? Whoa, 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 right what? Nope. Can I just stop you right nope. there? Nope, nope, Cause, cause... we can't stop. Oh, we can't stop. All right. Cause the... all right, all right. Q-Tip, 27. All right. Big Pun, 26. How you... What? How... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm. I don't even want to hear no more. Mm. That shit froze there. How about that? Yeah, yeah. straight up. It's fucking oh, fro- the, the disrespect. The shit, disrespect. about to catch on fire. Method Man 25. Oh the fucking disrespect. KRS 1 24. Yo, all right. They got, all right. We about to, we, 20, we about to stop 23. this. 23. This segment about to go on the smoke. Curtis Blow. What? Wait, what? Curtis Blow. What? 22, <laughs> ghost ca- ghost face killer. Oh, that's. They right, put ghost face right. above Method Man. Listen, yo, it's just listen, disrespectful. Whoever wrote this verse in the famous words of Dwayne Johnson, I want you to take this list. I want you to ball it up. I want you to turn it sideways and uh-huh. stick it straight up your candy yes. ass. <laughs> Go ahead. 21. That's crazy. DMX. 20. Kane. Okay. 19. Mm-hmm. Missy. You, you, 18. Ice Cube. What? Say what? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? 17. 50 Cent. <sighs> The disrespect that you have 50 Cent over Method Man, but whatever. Yeah, good over Big Pun. Like, Skirt, yeah, well, that. Too. Over Black Folk. Uh, 16 Scarface. Over a lot of people. What do they 
15, J. Cole. Somebody's lack of hip-hop knowledge. Yeah. 14, LL Cool J. He's a ridiculous person, by the way. 13, Rakim. <laughs> he is. Andre, 3012. Oh, wow. That's the, now, that's oh, wow. massively disrespectful. Oh, wow. He My even God. The, he not even in the top 10. He hasn't no. even dropped Whatever. an album before, like by himself. You know what? I'm right. a, that's, a, that's a good point. I always... I never quite got like the the, the, the love Andre, for Andre. three stacks he goat conversation, but I damn sure, but I damn sure would not. I I, I definitely would have ranked ranked him a little higher than that because my shit is always going to be based upon lyrics in the way you that you. That's a fact. Bro, you can't be number twelve if you haven't and that list. Well, yeah, all yeah, those rappers, yeah. If you haven't dropped a solo album. That's well, true. Oh, that's oh, true. Oh, oh, time out, time out, time out. Well, well, speaker, technically, speak technically, love, the love, love below, below was, was his was solo album. album. Yeah, it was an outcast was album. Right. But it was a double album, and that whole CD was dedicated. Because we mad that Lauren music. Hill's not in the top 20, and she, her, most, her, most her album was a fucking singy album. She's, but she's, a, but the Fuji's album, she she's still shit, touring. So. I saw Lauren Hill in 2018. But I'm also I'm performing just go off of and this did, education, and she I'm didn't a, come yeah. out until 2020. So that's I'm a, I'm a I'm go also don't know the criteria, shit. so it's like shooting <laughs> in the dark. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, Eleven. Kanye. Kanye. Ten. Forgive me, Lord. Nicki Minaj. All right, you can stop right there for a for Nine. Wow. Snoop Dogg. Because I got to see personally, I got to see who the hell they got as number one. Uh, yeah, oh no, you'll yeah. find out. Eight. Drake. Drake. Drake? Drake? <laughs> Number eight, Drake. Uh -huh. Number seven, Wayne. Uh-huh. So wait, wait, seven is Wayne? Seven is Wayne. Six, Biggie. Six is who? Biggie. Oh, hell. You know what, man? Fuck this list. Anybody want to guess five? Biggie. Eminem. Two yes. Oh, shit. That's, but that's massively disrespectful. Fuck that. That nigga. Was Anybody want to guess four? No. Huh? Anybody want to guess four? Tupac. Yep. Uh, I was blown away. Three. Nas. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two is Jay. Mm -hmm. Two is Jay Z. No, two no. is not Jay Z. No, Jay Z's one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Two is Kendrick. What? Fuck this whole list. Where's Nas at? Wait, and what? Nas, Nas was, was three. Three. Oh, three. Fuck oh, this whole list. Jay Z is number list. one. Oh, okay. Kendrick Lamar is the second best, one. greatest. Rap. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yo, whoever wrote. All right, so let's let's talk. I never do this, right? I never do I, I this. I need to know: is this list in an order? There, there or is, is this list just, just there, randomly generated just by random a computer? List. Their criteria, their their criteria is extremely dicky. It, the, the criteria for it is extremely dicky, basically, because it's really, really based upon is nostalgia and notoriety. So what happens is that the notoriety of certain artists pull them higher than they should be against a field of other artists that we know that are better. So and then you start talking about the nostalgia of certain guys like Curtis Blow being over Jadakiss is the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Curtis Blow being on this fucking list. Curtis Blow, bro? It's, that's wild. You're fucking, we're going to put African Bombado on the list if too? If you want to say, hey, we're going to throw back to like the beginning and you want to big up Curtis Blow. Yeah. Right, that's like, but to put him on a list that Jay-Z is on, to put him on a list that just, Nas is on, to put him on a list that Rakim is on, well, and well, why is Rakim not in the, the top five? Yo. What was he? I didn't even hear that. He wasn't in the top ten. So, all right. First of, of all. the God fucking. First of all. That list is made Bullshit. by someone who needs to be slapped to yeah. death. Yeah. These are all their favorite rap. Like handcuffed to a chair. No. All right, so slapped to death. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> but that's your, that's your list. Is your top five, is, uh, is y'all personal top five, are there any artists that are not in the top ten that are in your top five? Uh, Lauren Hill. Okay. Anybody else? I wish I could remember my top five. I know we asked this question, like when we first started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in the yeah, top five. Like, who's your top, top five. five? Right, right. Favorite rappers. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Jay was on my list. Yeah, right. I, I think Jay, Jay is a Rocking legitimate contender to be in anybody's top five. Yeah, I Rocking think Jay is. Definitely, of course, of course. Jay, that's definitely a solid choice but, to be in anybody's top three, honestly. But see, so my. Ah, right, slide, um, slide the mic. Slide, I, I think, slide, slide I, think over. I think Wayne I said, is another one too. At least it's better than what I assume they would do. It just seems like to me, like, um, like you said, the notoriety, 
and the, mm-hmm. the like the uh, popularity kind of thing. It's like they were going for like not trying to upset certain people yeah. in terms of how they view certain mm-hmm. artists. Right, right. And then they wanted to stay cool with it at the same time, so they just mixed them all up. All my top, all my, all my top five rappers are in the top ten, except maybe one. And the one is not even on the list, and I think it's completely and utterly disrespectful. Who's that? Royce. Royce is not in on the top fifty. That that bothers me. Royce, but is, but to, to me, that the reason why it bothers me is because of the simple fact that I understand this Billboard shit and the criteria of what they're doing. Hmm. Like it has, it, it really doesn't have anything to do with you know like best lyricists or or most impactful from when they came out. It to me. They shifted. They just it, it kind it kind of has to do more with influence and like I said, influence and nostalgia. Okay, well, well, so that sounds okay. about right. So, you know what I'm saying? This list is ridiculous. Two, two We're Soldier Boy. Like, yeah. We're Soldier Boy in all this. Okay. You, where's Praz? Where's Praz on this list? Yeah, okay, I know. Why, why is Praz okay, not? Why is Praz not on this <laughs> list? Okay, where's Fabo? Okay, right? listen, listen this is to ridiculous. Your, Use anyone to plug over. Here. Listen, listen to this. How could you so, not put those three legends on the list? This is from Billboard. In determining these in determining these rankings, the Billboard and Vibe editorial teams mm-hmm. opted first to limit the rap arena to North America. So, for example, as a stab, uh, esteemable as his career is, British rapper Slick, Slick Rip Rick. isn't on the list. Mm-hmm. We also opted not to include the significant contributions of reggaeton and dancehall embassies on this list, just to keep our pool of nominees a little bit more focused. That's a whole bunch of from there because right, it's rap. Yeah, from yeah, there, the teams rap. took into account the following criteria, not in any particular order who do body of work like? achievements chartered singles albums gold platinum certifications cultural impact and influence how the artist's work fostered the genres evolution longevity years on the mic lyric story selling <sighs> skills and flow vocal prowess you can't base a list so you can't base a list on certain things on that are vocal prowess on right. this list bust arms damn near scraping the bottom of the, the tie the, underneath the table the, hello and thank you just be careful but you camera. have, once again, Curtis Blow on what? this list. That's like com- right. Un- it's, it's underneath the desk. To everybody else. You got like First Shaq. of all, that you disclaimer you might was. Might have Shaq on it. Yeah. <laughs> you see it. Facts. I mean, he went platinum, didn't he? <laughs> Shaq went platinum, didn't he? Bring it over here. I got a. I got a plug over here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, y'all. You said you said Shaq ain't on the list. Yeah, yeah Shaq went platinum, didn't he? He definitely did. But that's what I'm Where's saying. Where's Deion Sanders on this list? Okay. First, first and foremost. Where's monumental like, impact? Kobe dropped an album. Uh, Kobe had a few. Yeah, where, where's Kobe? Where, didn't he do a song with, 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 with what's the name? Yo, AI should have been at least an honorable mention for 40 Come bars. On, AI, for 40 bars alone. You know okay, for 40 bars alone. This is ridiculous. I mean, like, now, how did they overlook all of these legends? This is a travesty. All right, so, but, but. All right, but where's Roy Jones? Beyond the pe- y'all must have forgot. Y'all must have forgot. forgot. Y'all must have forgot. <laughs> so, so, so they must have forgot. So here's the thing. Now, now the facetious side is out of it, right? All right, so we start talking about that because they said charting. He had a song called Thug Poet. They char- who? Kobe Bryant. Uh, listen, he had a whole fucking album. Yes, yeah, are, are you serious? Album. He did a song with Tyra Banks. Mm-hmm. Oh Bryant. shit. Was she singing? She was rapping? She was singing on Love that joke. That Squint was his your single. Eyes, One World, Get Ready, Baby, 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 Visions, Reality Check, Think Big, Mistress. Mistress. Can I Live, Reach, Philly Live, uh, My Adidas is Over, Tomorrow. Sports. You mean Lower Marion Live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, you know what? I'm not even going to speak ill about the dead. I know, that's my man. I love Kobe. I'm going to be 100 with you. I got some crazy will, stories about Kobe I will Bryant. say one yeah. thing about Kobe <laughs> Being as though I lived in Winfield. Tyra Banks, just in my opinion, I think she looks like Roger from American Dad. That's just my opinion. Yo, that's (laughs) fucked. Can we drop a bomb for that? (laughs) Hit the the bullhorn for that. That's that's wild. That is wild, bro. Not Roger from American Dad. She's got a long head, man. But where's her fucking nose? Roger ain't got no nose. Roger don't got to know. <laughs> just like a whole situation. Like that. <laughs> you know, Yo. Situation. Yeah, so, so basically, crazy. basically, I pull out the picture. you saying no, Tyra Banks got a hoagie head. Yo, yeah, she, yeah, she looked like a handsome, um, uh, <laughs> what's the guy from Spongebob? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like she, what was his name? Wow. Squidward. Squidward. Squidward? Yeah, no, not Squidward. Oh, 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 oh Handsome Dan. 
from um. Oh, you talking about uh uh? I think it's Squidward. Not man. oh Squidward. Oh, okay. I thought you might have been talking about Mermaid Man and Shark Boy. Yeah, it's just like she got <laughs> you got her face is like a contour and like surface. <laughs> or you know what? It's like those you're never gonna get any Tyra Valley. Banks snooch talking like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You are never gonna no, get those cakes. She's beautiful in a lot of people's eyes. Yeah, you're never gonna. <laughs> He's killing cakes. Tyra Banks. How did Tyra Banks catch a stray <laughs> from from nowhere? Tyra because Banks, this, you brought it up. Yeah, this is the Mister Know It All podcast, and anybody can get it. It all goes down. But Tyra Banks catching a stray is fucking hilarious. But all right, so nobody safe. Nobody safe. I guess nobody is safe nobody at all. Safe. So, all right, top five. I'm going to give you my top five. And then I want y'all to tell me your top five. Oh, shit. Here we go. Number five is always a variable for me, though, because it's, it's always interchangeable. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to give it to Royce. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give, I'm, I'm going to give fifth to Royce. I'm, I'm going to say that's a, that's a, a healthy choice. All right. I'm going to give four. Wait, wait, Man, wait. fuck that. No, I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. Because cause I'm talking about, well, I guess it's my five, right? It is. Yeah, you it's your five. five. I'm going to give Joe Button four. Joe Button. Oh, wow. I'm going to give Joe Button give four. give him one? I'm oh. going to give Joe Button four. I'm going to give Joe Button four. Give and I keep, say, I keep oh. saying this or whatnot. You're talking about a dude that has 12 albums, extremely underrated, and he does, doesn't he? Bar for fucking bar is just ridiculous. Like, like Joe, Joe don't say corny shit. So that Joe, that that lends itself to even what he does in the podcasting space. The nigga's a fucking monster. I I would I would say one thing about that. Um, move music two and three were like I used to listen. to Fucking them classic. Back Thou shalt back. not fall. Yeah, yeah. Dog, listen, it, it, yeah, it's just it's it's, 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 yeah, it's fucking crazy. All right, number three. Nup 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 nup. I'm moving. I'm moving now. No, nope, nope. I'm bumping Joe off of that. Bumping Joe off of that. I got to. He I'm sorry. Need, he don't need to I'm First bump, of all, I'm bump, on I'm his bump. list, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm Joe Button is number one, and everything is after that. So just put him in the first place. No, 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 Joe. No, no, and no. Just put your other four. Shut up, Joe. Just put your <laughs> other four. No, no, no. If bump. anybody has listened to the podcast, I'm bumping Joe off that list. I'm bumping Joe off that list. You're mm-hmm. right. You're right. Because I didn't think oh, I, I didn't, get I didn't take it. I didn't take in consideration. Number four. Is Nas, and the only reason why is it because I know the field that I'm playing. Nas, Nas been my, was my favorite rapper forever. Mm. Number three is Big. Big is the reason why I ever wanted to pick up a pen. The nigga is just everything. My top ten. That's the reason why I bumped Joe back because my top ten consists of all the other niggas, the cannabis, the fucking what you call it, because it's just me. Like like that's just who I love. You know what I mean? Number in pun, you know what I mean as well. Number two is Hove. Okay. Because I go off of lyrics. what I lyrics. That's just that's just what it is to me. Not and I mean it, it 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 is it is what it is to me. And I don't give a fuck. And this is the funny thing about me. I go off of the criteria that you should go off of when you start talking about rappers. Lyrics and Versatility, if, versus style. the style and all that, and also if you weren't really want to talk sales, it's the same type of vibe. We talking about selling records, you know what I'm saying? And I even put I put Hove over Big only because of the longevity factor. But if we talking about the way that they were selling when Big was alive, and Big and Big it's was not even Big's fault. Big, right? Big was blowing, but blow Hove out of the water. We talk about sales. Big was one of the highest selling rappers ever during this time. Life after death sold that, went diamond. That, that was before. Jay hit his stride though. Understood. Like we talk, I get that. we we comparing, we comparing, ready to die. So, oh, I got to ooh, I got reasonable a doubt. We comparing, and that's to me, there's no comparison. Okay. Exactly. So there's no comparison. Exactly. Here's the question. Yeah. Here's a good question. Do you think that Jay would have hit the stride he had if Biggie hadn't been killed? No. Yes. No. You say yes. no. You say no. no. You say I, I, yes. What I'm saying is that I'm talking about I'm, I'm I'm talking about musically. I'm talking about musically because this is the one thing that I know for a fact is that that commission shit would have been different. The relationship that Jay and Big have would have been considered a different type of hip hop 
mentor mentee type vibe that was going on. I think Biggie would have grown as a businessman. He was all already on his way out of getting out of Puff's way. He was he was coming from up under the thumb. He dropped the the Junior Mafia. He dropped the Lil Kims. He had a deal working out with Un trying to get some shit together. So Big was well on his way before Jay could even shift with him and Dame to step up to that level. And I feel like because they was tight like that, it would have always been Big leading to Big being one step ahead. Oh, but sooner or, la- so, sooner or later, I think that Big would have stopped making music. I think he would have been done making music. So do I think that Jay still would have been Jay? Of course. Do I think that Jay would have been the Jay that he is without recognizing Big in the picture? No. I think that there will always be the black cloud of Christopher Wallace looming over a Jay-Z's head because that's the way that he was introduced. Like, this is my man, this is my young boy, and it's the it's the Beanie Siegel freeway theory. It's the Jay Siegel theory. It's the fucking, it's anybody that comes up above somebody. The only time that it didn't happen probably was with Joe and Punt. So See. so my thing is that all that that's the reason why I say I put Jay above Big, but it's only because of the longevity and look at what all that he's done. But if you ask me, and 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 Jay has surpassed Big lyrically because he's had more time to do so. If you'd ask me this shit back in two thousand, Big would definitely be above Jay. Wow. But I said two thousand. That's before the blueprint. Don't do that. That's before the blueprint. That was that was all that was all three volumes and that was the dynasty. That was before the blueprint. That a, when the blueprint came out, and that started. I say that's wow. That started to shift my thought process. That's when, like dynasty, right? That's dynasty. That's dynasty, Jay. Now, now this is my thing, because I still hadn't heard a life after death from Jay at that time. I don't give a fuck about one, two, or three. They're not life after death. Blueprint, on the other hand, that motherfucking album is different. But do you think we would have had Blueprint? Yeah, 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 yeah. One hundred percent. But you also would have had a rebirth from Biggie. That would have been not that shit that Puff put together. This would have been a the. This would have been twenty five year old Biggie Smalls vibe, a fucking monster of a record. So I just don't think. I, I think it's hard to say, but I just don't. I, me, I can't consider. But I still put Jay above Big. This and is it, a controversial opinion. It is. It is. This it is, is a, a little bit controversial opinion. Um, and as a matter of fact, I want to go on record and say that I too have a controversial opinion. And I'm gonna just put this out here. And I know I'm gonna be crucified, but that's where I stay. Right, Stand your ground. All right. This is um, the, the 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 following opinion is that of Sin Marcellus and Sin Marcellus alone. Alone but does not represent the same opinion as Know It All podcast. But now watch, I'm I just have say, a feeling I'm gonna agree with you, but go ahead. I'm gonna just go ahead and say, mm-hmm. um, having listened to every released Biggie verse since he came out. Okay. I think his title as King of New York, greatest rapper alive, mm-hmm. is overblown. Whoa. I think no, I don't agree with that. I yeah. think personally because you got to think, you got to think, we had rappers, lyrically, who could destroy him that came out around the same era. You had rappers who had better songs. You had rappers who were more capable sonically. Who? Do, are you, with, are with, you, with oh, that, I'm asking. With I'm, that statement. Yeah, who? Do you think that they gave Biggie the title King of New York? Simply because he died? No. I no, no think, he was king of New York before yeah, he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah he definitely He was calling was. himself Frank White after yeah. Ready to Die. Um, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think he, because just as somebody who's been around the industry, like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't get that simply because you're lyrically. Right, right. Think, no. think about it. Pun was around when Big was alive. Mm-hmm. Pun could wrap circles around Big. Mm-hmm. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Time out, time out, time out, time out. I, I agree. Right, right. right. No, 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 rap no, no, circles no. around big. But wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. But at the I end of the day, was Pun yeah. King of New York? No, no. All right. Because to be king of any city, yeah, requires way more than just lyrical talent. Absolutely, I agree with that. You I got that. you, you connect. Everybody loves you. You that dude. You got the the, the look. You got the you got the, the talk. Vibe. You walk the walk. You got the connections. You. That's what it takes to be king of any city. So big embodied that. So that's why he was king. But when we talk, we talk about music. Okay, we talk about music. music. We talk about music. Well, so we... when you when you say when you say this person is the best rapper alive, right? 
That's where I disagree. See, the problem is that certain things are not comparable. Remember, remember, Biggie died in 97. Okay, pun didn't drop until 98. I think you need to go back and listen to those big moon dog freestyles on, on Okay, flex. no 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 no. And even 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 with that because the cannabis for, uh, exactly. uh Lost Boy verse exactly. came out in 96. Do you think if you put Biggie and Cannabis on the same track Biggie's going to come out on top? No, of course not. No. But this is what I'm saying Did though. Did you hear Infinite said, album? Ab- absolutely. Do you think we if you put Biggie and Eminem on the track? No. But okay. this is this is the thing. Okay. This is the so thing. So best rapper alive? No, listen. Listen though. Understood. Lyrically, what I'm saying is that it's also about what you can hear thinking because then we start to then we start thinking about th- we start thinking about this situation. Remember, Big L was on the scene as well. Oh, oh he, he was murdered. Did, did, did you heard what happened with Jay Z? Yeah, and yeah, Big L. Do you think if you put Big L and Biggie on the same track, do you think Biggie's no. coming out on top of that? No, no. Big L was around it. No, but see, that's also can, a, all right. Can, all right so, so, so that's, best rapper alive? No, but that's also about the visibility of a situation. So that's the reason why the same reason why everybody scrunched their face up when I said that Joe Button was in my top five. No, I yeah, I'm saying it's about it's about the, it's about the going. visibility of a situation. It's about what you've seen, what's tangible, okay. what you can what you can notice. What is the uh, of notoriety at that point in time? So my thing is that this the the majority of these guys that we even talking about aren't even built for the battle stage. Can I can I ask you? You know question? what I'm saying? So even with big like big even was a battle rapper, but was he the best battle rapper? No. Can I ask but, you a question? Yeah, sure. DMX. Dropped the album before anybody knew who he was. It was called Born Loser. I never heard that album. Do, do, do you think if you put DMX and Biggie on the same record, Biggie's coming out on top? Yes. You think Biggie's coming out on top of yeah. DMX? Yeah. yeah. The reason why is that I'm going to tell you why. Okay. X, X style lent itself to what was necessary at that moment. It was It was the locks type of that raspy voice type of smooth New York talk and whatnot. And then you had the one wild nigga like he might be on crack, you know what I'm saying? But he might not, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he might have, you know what I'm saying? He might have been on dust at one point. Something, oh, something might have happened oh, in his Lord. life. He, he went through a lot of shit. So you can feel the pain and see the pain, you know what I mean, like oozing from him. So X lent itself into a, to a time where we was coming off the shiny suit era. Now niggas um, wanted to get rugged. That's my point. point. Niggas wanted to That's get rugged. That's my point. Right. Because I need to interject the, on this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me, let me say one more thing. Let me say one more thing. Because he literally just played into my point, and that's exactly. I set the trap. He sprung the trap. What? What's that? That's literally my point. So you think you feel like Biggie? Biggie ushered, helped ushered, ushered, the, the ushered in, in that. Mace just picked up what Biggie left off. I feel like that was more puff than anything. Because, it was puff. Because, it because, was puff. because 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 life after death didn't lend itself to that. It was only the optics. Th- think, think about think about Sky's the Limit video. Now just make his suit shiny. Okay, but you also talking about you're also talking about an album with what thirty three songs on it. You know what I'm saying? So so and we got to start talking because it's, it's, it's the same man that did Somebody's Gotta Die. It's the same man that yeah, did Pray on My fact. Downfall. It's the same that's man. A fact. He, he also did More Money, More Problems. So it's like one of them things. He was lending it, and that to me, that's what makes him so relevant in that space and even to this day because of the wavelength okay. that he had in so, between each type of so explain, genre of hip hop. So explain hypnotized video. Because that was just a that's, that's that was puff. just that was just a bad boy video minus that's, the shiny shit. Yeah, sheets. that's fucking puff. Right. That's Puff. The Biggie right. records. That's Puff. Biggie, Biggie's records, right, stand the test of time. Yeah. I love Big Pun. And, I, and me personally as a technical rapper, mm-hmm. and like I told a line from time to time, but I'm very technical in terms of like how I look at it yeah. and like how I approach my music. Throw at you down the, the stairs time, to your spinal tear. Nigga, we know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> but like I, I have to look at things objectively. There's like... There's different folds of rap. Different yes. Folds Agreed. Or yeah. And, um, and also, we have to pay respect to the fact that Biggie, like, uh, for instance, Muhammad Ali. There's right. plenty of talk about how Muhammad Ali um, was great for his era, but he couldn't live in this era with this person and that person and this person. I feel like Muhammad Ali and his prime was gearing himself towards the opposition. In his time, who was better than him, right? And then you look at Biggie in his time when he was on records with all of these artists, who was better than him? Who 
outshine him. I heard him on tracks with Method Man right. when Method Man was trying to take his fucking head off. Mm-hmm. I don't even know that was his uh, his approach. Yeah, his objective. Yeah, but yeah. It was just like it was nasty way he was bouncing back and forth on it. Mm-hmm. And Biggie was keeping up. Yeah. I haven't heard anybody in Biggie's time get on a record with him and make him look bad. Mm, I like that. I, I do that. He he let's brings see, up that. he brings up a great great point with that. Though he that absolutely brings up a great great point. But I I just I want to tell y'all my number one. Come on, man. You know who my number one is. Joe Button. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what, Kelly? You want to go home? <laughs> hey. Fuck. Hey. Fuck out of here. Hey. <laughs> Listen. I'm here to the end. Slim. Slim Shady. Okay. Shady. Slim Shady. Eminem, Eminem is the greatest it's rapper of all time. Five. And it's, here's the Lyrically, pro- lyrically. Lyrically, influence, like and also record sales. To me, Oh, the three things that he embodies matter, everything. It is not even fucking close. close. Go ahead, go ahead. Go. You gotta go. As go ahead, a matter go of fact, wait a minute. I'm drinking a Corona. Isn't 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 Eminem like by a landslide the the highest selling hip hop artist of all time? It's not even fucking close. And he ain't dropped the album in three years. It's not even fucking close. Wow. Between him and Drake, there is at least eighty million. Is it eighty? I thought it was like thirty. I don't know. Oh, it's like eighty million. It's like eighty. Wow. Eighty million. It's like eighty million. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so boom, get on the oh, mic. Race Ty, car. Ty is here. Race Ty, car. Come on, come on. Yup, because that's race what they car. pull all the time. Slide, slide over for a second, Ty. Race car. While, while Ox went to the bathroom, talk talk to us about what you just said because this is what I get all the time. Race car. They refuse to give this man the proper respect that he deserves. Can, can we can we just acknowledge the fact that all right? So somebody just said, who hopped on a record with Biggie and Alshon? Who hopped on a record with Eminem and Alshon him? Nobody. Ever. Like Ever. from the time he came in again, who did it? No, who nobody, it? nobody. It had who to be ever. Jay was the closest. No, Royce was the closest. He's the only one that's able to keep up. He can with keep him. up, but I'm talking about like unanimous, outside, outside of unanimously. Yeah, yeah. Jay was the closest, yeah. and it, that's a that's a fifty fifty thing. If you from the hood, you think Jay won. If you if you outside of that area, you think Eminem won. Me, I just go off bars. I go off lyrics. That's me. That's always been me. You play Renegade. I'm sorry. I love Renegade. And you think Eminem Ty, got him on that? Ty, you think? But it f- wasn't really fair because Eminem and Royce Renegade. had the original Renegades. That like, but that make it worse. That makes it worse because of the simple fact that the track was three years old before Jay got on to it. He heard all of M's variations of that song. There were more verses that were left off. This is. This is proving my point and whatnot. When you start talking about sitting down and writing with the white boy bar for bar, exactly. I don't know many people alive he, he that actually, could, do, could do what he fucking does on a microphone. This is a thing that I always bring up about yeah. him when people like try down ball, right? Yeah. He hopped on records with all of the legends that are alive and destroyed all of them. Absolutely. With the ease. With the ease. I'm, I'm sorry. She wanted to say something real quick, Ox. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Ty, you sure? Yes. No, you want to say because you your mind. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Ty is about to give her racist point no, drop, of view. <laughs> <laughs> right, drop I'm that. Not racist. Drop that race bomb real quick. <laughs> I'm not racist. Drop that race bomb before you roll. So, so no, no, no. Before you say that though, why you you said because he's white? Now you're t- you you you're talking to two black rappers that that are telling you a <clears throat> ghostwriter. <clears throat> two, one black former rapper, one black ghostwriter currently <laughs> that's telling you. That that we look at it and it's to say, listen, the cri- for every criteria that even matters in the realm, he's you automatically put an asterisk around his name because he's white. Why? No. Okay. So I said that with regards to you bringing up sales, he's going to sell more. Yes. Because right. he's because white. It's two different groups of people. And because it's two different stuff. groups of people, it's white people buying his music. Mm-hmm. It's black people. What buying about Jack Harlow? Thank you. Who? Who? Ah, mm. uh, y'all got, y'all got it, y'all got it. That's a dude on the team. Oh, 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 every day. yeah. Like uh, what about Jack Hart? What about uh? He's like White Drake. What happened, to Asher Roth? Whiter Drake. Who? Asher yeah. Roth. All White Drake. <laughs> what about uh the dude that that believes uh his so, heart of hearts that he's so not white, is, but he definitely is logic. When he came out, it initially was the whole <laughs> you know great white hope thing, right? He couldn't believe a white boy can rap like this, so that is going to sell itself. Anyway, but if okay. you keep no, proving, he, he proving over and over great again, white I understand. I understand. He literally, it. but usually the great white hope is good, right? Larry Bird is good, right? 
No, no, Caitlin, no. Caitlin uh, Clark is good, right? They yeah. always need a great white hope. But right? they weren't, but they're not better than everybody. That's the and point. And he's not better than everybody. Who Who's better than who's Eminem to you, in your opinion? He's not, he ain't my number one. Lyrically, who is better than Eminem to you? Yeah, lyrically. 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 You already know who's better than Eminem. Lyrically. You think that Jay-Z is lyrically yes. better than Eminem. Why? Somebody getting you on one song does not make them better than you. For, forget, the, forget the head-to-head. I'm talking about bar for bar out of the music that you're able to sonic. Yeah, I think right, that's right, what so it is. That's her no, favorite. I think but he's I, also my favorite. Listen, so. yeah, and there's I'm not very few that. songs I ever heard from Eminem with that gave me the screw face. Jay-Z, I quote Jay-Z. You be like, damn, how you came when up with you that? you just said that, it gave that me the screw face. Eminem. Huh? I know. So when you just said that, it gave me the look, look at my face. face. Look at my face, Ty. <laughs> I know I gave you the screw face, but I'm just saying, at the end of the day, his subject matter is not something that that's, I want to hear. That's what I was and okay, it's the subject rise. That's right. what I just said. If you're from, from, you from the hood, my name is if you from Shady. the hood. So at the end of the day, when you're bringing up, you, you feel you like making Jay- him at the top of your list because of his record sales, it's kind of unfair. You know that he has more record sales than other people because he's white. No, it's not just. It is that. because That's he's white. True. There are other white rappers that That's have done true. this though. It's not the same thing. What you you have to be. He's pre- white and he can rap. I'm not no, no, saying no, no. he just can't white. rap. No, no he's not white. White he can rap. He's, he's not. He's not a vanilla asshole. ice or a third base. But I'm he, not saying that. Right, but, but at the end of the day, he is a great white height. He's, he's not a Facts. great white. Me, he is. Because that's my no, that's my nigga. How that great white hope is what I'm saying. No, he's they the always great, they always have to no, have no, no. He's just a great. He is no just more. a great white, yes. like a fucking shark. This nigga, let me tell you something. I just want to hear him say, there is not, not a person, and, and I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this for somebody that is listening to hip hop in all facets. I'm talking about in the battle arena. I'm talking about your party shit. I'm talking about there is nobody that I've ever seen and ever heard. And I'm talking like, like maybe Sin Marcellus at times. Maybe Sin. Maybe Sin. And I give, the only reason why I say that Sin does it, because there are points where he even surprises me. And that's my man. You know what I'm saying? No nigga for, for, for damn near 30 years. I'm at a level of you know excellence what I'm saying? where it doesn't even surprise people when I destroy bars anymore. I just want to let y'all know this, like on a podcast for listeners who but I always my put, music. Jaws hears music when I'm coming. To, but, <laughs> but I also put you in that, that realm that I put Royce in. And I put Royce in, and I put Joe Button in, and then I put all of, you know who else I put in there? I put the entire league in that same field. That's a fact. I put Ox in that field. That's and the reason fact. why is that because I feel like at any given moment, we are, you know what I mean? It's one of them things where we can get on a song, and any one of us can just go the fuck off, and it'd be like, oh, shit, that nigga went crazy. Oh, shit, that nigga went crazy. It, Essentially. We, we laugh about it, but it's not, it's not a surprise. It, but but th- this is a contemplated act. This is this is pre. This was it was always premeditated to be on that type of time. Mm-hmm. It's not just shit talking from guys. It's one of those things where, when you know what you do, and you're good at what you do, it's after a while it becomes way past the place. Yeah, what you think you're gonna sell, what influence that you're gonna have. This is this is an art form that's based upon rhyming words together. And rhyming words together efficiently, it's making strange. making sense, similes and metaphors, comparisons, uh, all all different types of taking bo- taking words and molding them together so they're audible enough for somebody to be like, "What the fuck is that about?" And impactful. Impactful. impactful and, no. um, can they hear me? Well, that was my two cents about Eminem. I feel like his sales is due to him being white. That's just my sales might be due to him, but his that's skills, all I was talking about. I feel like I feel honestly. I feel like that's a cop out. That is a little bit. I though. feel like that's a cop out because I feel like if he let me ask you a question. You think that if M wasn't as good as he is, he would have sold as much? No. Let's be real. No, he no. wouldn't have. If he wasn't right, as I, good no, as he listen. is, would he have sold as much? No. Okay, so then we can't always exactly. lean. We can't always but, lean the white pot. as I said, that's her opinion. He can rap. Yeah, I'm not saying he can't. No, he rap, can really. But rap. He can rap, and he's white, so he has it's both a, right, so audiences. When you say when you listen, say he can you got, rap, right, so that's you listen like to his downplay. subject matter, right? Yes, it's very vulgar at times. He's talking about killing his mom. It's movie like kidnapping and all this stuff, right? It's movie like same kind of stuff that another rapper does that doesn't sell like that. And that's Styles P, right? They say he's too hard for the radio. Styles P is n- lyrically no, nowhere, not, nowhere not near Eminem. 
She said, "Yeah, she's talking about subject. Content. Matter. I'm talking about subject content, matter, right? Okay. What, what, oh, I was referring to what that. makes the subject. He can matter get away work. with that because he's white. Did you hear what he just said? What he said? What makes the subject matter work? You, you, have you ever because heard this old saying? It's not about what you say; it's about how you say it. Thank you. There was an entire that, genre right. in the '90s. If we can, we all OGs now. Mm-hmm. We can all recall this." There was an entire genre in the 90s dedicated to what Eminem rapped about. It was called horrorcore. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? It was shock rappers. Yeah. Right? There was an entire genre. None of them sold the, the records to Eminem. And he sold those units well after that genre had died completely. Mm-hmm. Why is that? It's not because of the fact that he was white. It was the fact that the way he presented right. the material or the subject matter was so... It was, it, it, was, it was beyond It was beyond it was, yeah, it was theatric. Wanna, it was beyond theatric. Be what clear, it was right? was he was just so proficient with the way he, he uh, puts together his bars, the way he uses styles, the way he rides beats, his the, the way he use, utilizes his production. Yeah. It was it was so well put together that people gravitated towards it because I'm I don't know if y'all noticed, I'm black. I don't give a shit what anybody is talking about as far as like hood shit or whatever like if you nice you nice absolutely i don't care what color you are like listen i'm huge on uh harm franklin right now shout out to harm franklin he is a he, he's like indian like you know what i'm saying he's super mulatto i don't care what race you are if you are good at your craft that's what i look at and dude to say he's he's white and he's good at rapping is just downplaying the fact that not only is he white? He's one of the greatest lyricists of all time. Let's stop playing these games, man. Yeah, like, yeah. let's stop trying to downplay this man's talent. We can't. I don't think I downplayed his talent. I just said I was talking about the sales. Yeah, you uh, yeah. said you sold as much as he sold well, but because he's white and he was, he was good at rapping. But, and I'm saying it's not just because he's white and he's good at rapping. So y'all telling me his, his race... Does not play any factor. I never said that. No, we're not saying okay, that. So, that. Don't play a all right. We're not so saying that. So that's what all I'm saying, saying is, is that his race is a it, It's factor. a factor. It's definitely it's a factor. why he sells so much. Yeah, it's, it's a it's, it's a not factor. tell me it's not other black a, rappers that can rap that way with the same subject matter. Yeah. Who don't sell as much as him. It's because it's, it's been done already. Right, but you when he did it, they didn't say it's been done no, already. No, no I mean when he he's the one that did it. That's what I'm saying. He's the one that did it. When I say it's been done already, I mean it by him. Like yeah. so now when you come after him and you're a black rapper doing it, they're gonna say just like Hobson, you sound like Eminem. Just Absolutely. like Kendrick Lamar, okay, you sound like Eminem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now when he came along, he was the first one to do it on that level. So that's why he has that staple. It's just like if you if you sound like 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 Sean, right? You got Sean mm-hmm. who came after Biggie. What would they say? You sound like Biggie. You got Gorilla Black, what'd you say? You sound like Biggie. Mm-hmm. You're, Oh, he, he, he did it first. Yeah, no, absolutely. He did, he did I mean, it first. And that, that's he's a phenomenal rapper. Period. That's it. And, and and I think that a lot of times we take that away because even that, Royce, even right. Royce, yeah. Royce, Royce, and Eminem to me is like the, the video games where you press X to to, to palette swap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. That's exactly like when, when you when you both pick the same person and the other one come out a different color. Yeah, that's exactly you know what, what I'm saying. Is. That's, that's exactly what Royce what and Eminem is to me. But what do they say? Royce came out slightly after Eminem. What do they say? Mm-hmm. You sound like M. Shall I give it him? I actually like. I think Royce is a. This is controversial. No, it's not. I think Royce is a better rapper than Eminem. I think so too. I think so too. But I, the one thing but that he I, came later. But can I can I tell you the so one why of the, he doesn't sell? I'm, like I'm, gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Why doesn't he sell like Eminem? Came later. Ooh, tie it now. Came later. I'm out. No, no, no. All right, all right but no, no. Yeah, yeah. Put like, <laughs> I just made my point. No, no. Why like, doesn't Royce Five Nine sell like Eminem? No, no, all right, wait. Switch, switch, switch these with Ox. Oh, okay, so this is you the don't thing. got the records or the backing. Right, and that's the thing. That's why. The thing. What, just, do you, he, what do you mean? Why? Those, those yeah, are circumstances. Just, no, 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 you can't no. do anything about circumstances. Right. <laughs> this is the no, thing. Because he was he was more marketable because he's white. All right, so let's take it to podcasting for a second. Okay. Our podcast better than ninety percent of the podcasts that I hear on. That are that are out. Talk heavy. Period. Like Talk like heavy. like like, and I think that sometimes it's not even fucking close. All right. So why uh, is it? Why, why am I not all the podcast million yeah, dollars worth a game? Yeah, exactly. Why am I not the biggest podcast in the world? Fix that mic a little bit. You want to answer that? Here you go. Why am I? Why am I not the biggest podcast in the world? Am I not? No, no, no. Bring bring it to you. Bring it towards you a little bit more. There you go. Yep. Yep. It. 
circumstantially, and that's that's kind of what we, that's kind of what happens, especially in the music business, in the podcasting space, and in a lot of, there are things in life that happen, in a certain way, in a certain way, just a certain like 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 the wheels turn it's a in a certain of way. Circumstances. It's always a series of circumstances, and it's one of those things to where is that. If I would get co-signed tomorrow by Jay-Z, and he'd be like, yo, you got to listen to the Mr. know all podcast. Out of here. This fucking podcast is out of here. The reason why it's out of here is because you're getting co-signed by, I'm getting co-signed by one of the, the biggest stars in the world. These Let's things these things have been going on in music and in hip-hop for, especially hip-hop, forever. Forever, not, ever, Well, not ever. just hip-hop, just in music, it, period. It, right, in music, yeah. Business. But business. Period. Right. It, yeah. But it, but it's business. The, it's the business. It's the business side. It's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. And the funniest thing about it is that it's also about the way that that it's a thing is presented. So Royce did an album with him. So more records. The album went double platinum. So more records than than Royce ever sold solely. And it helped boast. And it was independent. And it was independent. And Ro- and Royce has always done things independent for the most part. It boosted his sales. But since he was independent, he was make, able to make a lot of money off doing what he does. But he would have had to stay by Eminem for another three, four albums in order to try to even see a fraction of the success of Eminem. Is part of it because Eminem is who Eminem is? Yes. Yes. And does it lend itself to him being white? Some of it does. But you got to still give credit to what credit is due. You know what I mean? In that realm. And also look at it like, yo. The world, like she said, she said before, is based on a is based upon a series of circumstances. Let us let us be one hundred percent clear, right? Everybody in this room, right, is a is a is a person of color, correct? Absolutely, right. Last, last time I, I checked, I didn't, I didn't think these shades was messing my sight up. No, last time I checked. At the at the end of the day, we are called in this country. We are called minorities for a reason. You can drop an album tomorrow that sells out the entire fucking hood, right? But when you drop that hit single that all the white people buy it, mm-hmm. you're in a different stratosphere. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Now, if you co-sign your homie that was on that same song that sold out the hood, mm-hmm. right? Guess what? He's out of here too now. Sometimes. I'm only interested in the truth. Sometimes. I feel like sometimes the metrics don't reflect the truth um, all the time. Facts. So, like, that's right, why we right. need diverse opinions to come to, like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you know, in our own little melting pot. Because you're yeah. going you know? to like one thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, and plus, I might be and biased a like, little bit, too. I might be a little bit biased. And sometimes we don't catch our own bias about certain things because we like particular shit. Yeah, like, yeah. I like fucking cheeseburgers with fucking bacon on them. Yeah, you yeah. You know, not everybody does or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. Swine, eating that swine. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Could be B, man. Could You've been be around me too long. That was that's the thing I was thinking. Nigga eating that swine. You ever you ever that bullshit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, beef and swine. He he all messed up right now. I know. I'm I'm just, be, I be getting turkey burgers with turkey bacon on them. You just, shit is the crazy. Cut Yo, you ever had a turkey burger with duck bacon? That's the first thing I'm getting when I get the bacon. Because you on turkey time. I've never even heard of Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but no, honestly. All right. We've done a lot of music talk. I know. All right. Let's, we go, we, we go, we, but I had to have y'all on board in order to talk about that. So, listen. The WWE listen. acquisition. Oh, shit. Real quick. Vince on there looking like M. Bison. Five minutes. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with Vince McMahon? <laughs> he looked like he looked like a stereotype movie cartel boss. Vince McMahon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Vince McMahon looked like a gay trapeze artist with that fucking mustache. He looked like he. he Vince, t- Vincent K. McMahon looked like Vincent K. Price. <laughs> Yes, like yes, <laughs> that's exactly who he look like, Vincent fucking Price. He's a yo, it's the craziest shit Come ever. On the, the horror movie dude. Yeah, oh. yeah, the exactly. one that did the uh, thriller the, voice. Yeah, the thriller yeah. voice. So, do y'all think? Look, and we ain't got to spend much time on this. Do y'all believe that this acquisition by Endeavor with the USC UFC is good for the brand? It depends on they, what they're trying to do with it. I'm going to be honest, I think some of the theatrics from WWE, the sports entertainment brand, is going to bleed into UFC and it's going to ruin everything. Wow. 
You know what? What you just said is is my biggest fear for this entire situation. Because yeah. if once I see Conor McGregor come down and hit Roman Reigns with a chair, I'm gonna be like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like, like honestly, like, yes. yeah, because I they I will do cross branding. Yeah, they're gonna do cross branding. Everything. Yeah, I do see that shit. Think happen. about it; it's been happening already. We had Ken Shamrock, we had Dan Severn. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Like, he goes back and forth. He's like yeah. the day walker. He damn sure is. And that nigga beat the shit out of Cody Rhodes the other night, and it looked real. Well, he did the same thing to Randy Orton a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. true, too. Yes. What? That's real. What? That's real. What's real? Well, not that. Not that. No, not that big ass mustache. That that no, that. he looked like Super Mario. With yeah, this, this little, he got a little pasta Milo mustache. <laughs> it, 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 like, he got a... I don't know, maybe he cut it down some, but the joint that I seen it when it looked like a uh, drawn on started. Yeah, game. yeah, that joint definitely, and he died it. He died yeah, yeah, that, that shit, shit yeah, yeah. Crazy. He, he midnight it cocoa bean and it shit was on Beijing his mustache. On that yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah. But oh my god, I, yeah, yeah, he's a weirdo. There but you but, go. Yeah, I need him not to have a mustache at all. He, he be like old ass predator. It's, it's just crazy. So yeah, my thing, my crazy. thing, my thing is oh, with, there it is. with this whole acquisition. Jones look like eyebrows. I agree with you though. I feel like it's gonna be it's scary. But hey, we we got to see how it plays out. At least the company is not going under. You know what I'm saying? At least it was, something it still. It's ha- never gonna go under. But AEW is kicking their ass right now on the record. I heard they were actually gonna go under. Yeah. The, the, WWE is never gonna go under because they have they have brand loyalty. So let's talk about go under. let's talk about the fact that Cody Rhodes was supposed to beat. Now I know this is not a wrestling podcast. He was supposed to beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. He didn't. No, he didn't. I didn't. I didn't see WrestleMania, man. Roman like, Reigns I has out of wrestling like so long. Roman Reigns has been the champion for almost three years. Roman Roman Reigns. I haven't watched wrestling in a while. Roman Reigns. Um, and it, it, it's ro- one of the reasons why I tuned out of wrestling. Roman Reigns. Yeah. is one of the worst pushes since Diesel in the nineties, since Lex Luger. In the nineties, yeah. Roman Reigns is w- literally like he's the you know, he is the, the, the epitome of the corporate champion. Like but, he is the he, dude they shove down your throat. Like he's John Cena in his latter years. But he you know what? You know, yeah. But you know what's crazy? They all because of the simple fact that his merchandise and is on par is on par with that I do love with Hulk Hogan and with John Cena and that all I that. do love. They the business. It is always good business to have Roman Reigns there. Ever since the Shield broke up and they did all that extra shit. He is actually the fucking guy. The he twins, is. the twins are the guys. Even Solo, the, Silka, the, the, the tribal, yeah, whatever. the family, the, the, the family, tribal chief, yeah, yeah the, 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 the Samoan marketing yeah. is wonderful. I yeah. just think the Usos mm-hmm. are they they definitely belong in the greatest tag team conversation. Oh, oh absolutely, the Usos are fantastic. Roman Reigns though is <laughs> fucking garbage. Like <laughs> like Roman Reigns is one of like. He he has officially joined the the tier of niggas have been catching shots. The, the guys who are, have been pushed to the moon who have like three moves under their belt, like Roman Reigns. The, yeah, you know, it's one of three things I still don't know. It's a Superman. Is it punch? the Superman punch? Is it the spear? It's the spear. It's is both it, of them. Is it, what, is, what, is, what is what is his finisher? That's what, a, what is the Superman punch? Do you actually punch him? No, he never really punch him. Yeah, what the fuck? Jake For, Paul punch harder than that nigga. Jake Paul punches a nigga in the face and knocks him out. He got. I was about to say Jake Paul just got his ass whipped not long ago. No, he was at WrestleMania. Yeah. He fought Seth Rollins and and he lost, but it was a good match. He, he's crazy as shit. He'll jump off the top rope out on the outside on the I, table. I appreciate that. I yeah. appreciate that. He gives uh, it his all. All right, so let me bring something up real quick, and then we can close out. Play this real quick for you. Let me see. Hold it. How many good women have you lost that you regret? I have never lost a good woman. Maybe I'm weird, but every single woman I take out on a first date is a potential girlfriend, is a potential wife, is a potential mother of my children. So please believe I'm going to judge you, bitch. I judge you on everything. I judge you on the way you act. I judge you on how nice you are to others. I judge you on the way you move. Hell, I, do you even pray, bitch? That being said, I recently had to drop this woman after a second date because I took her out for a steak. And with her meal, she got mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. And I was like, girl, this will never work. She said, why? I said, bitch, you ain't even get a vegetable. I know that coochie sting. How many good women have you? That was a little raunchy at the end. A little disrespectful. <laughs> Sorry, don't look at me like that. But he's right. That though. was a little. So. He's right, though. Let me ask you a question. First of all, I stopped talking a to a John. I stopped talking that's to a, a John because I went to her crib one time. I went to her crib one time and she came out of flip flops. 
she came out of flip flops and in the, the bottom, bottom of her feet was black. No, she had socks on and the bottom of her socks was dirty under the flip flops. I said, Nah, I know your personal hygiene is not on point because how the fuck is your socks dirty and you got flip flops on? On top of them, what kind of poor habits do you have? Maybe she had them on. You won't even wash your fucking socks. You won't even wash your socks around the house. Those are your house socks, bitch. You wasn't even outside. Why are you yours. killing this girl like this right now? <laughs> that's yes. life, goddamn it. Uh, Sometimes you gotta run a motherfucker over to prove a point. All right. <laughs> so, so, so my thing is, the first thing that Corey Holcomb said in that in that clip was, she said. When is the last time you lost a good woman? He said, I've never lost a good woman. That's a fact. I feel the same way. If she All my exes woman, are trash. He tried to lose her. He, or if, she, wasn't a, he if she was a good woman. did everything he could to keep her. That's, that's a fact. It's an arrogant statement. It's not. It's true. It is, it's an arrogant statement because it's only it's very, very one-sided. It's, it's saying well, that's that. True. That's it's, true. It's, it's, it's saying, guess what? Um, You wasn't good because you ain't you ain't still with me. And if I lost you... Then it had to be something that you did wrong. You you absolutely you know what I mean? have to be on point. You have to be a good dude. Like I, I'm gonna be honest, mm-hmm. I feel that right. Mm-hmm. I feel that because um when I when I get into a relationship with these females, right, mm-hmm. I, I definitely um I be on point with mine. So I f- I concur when you say I never you know what's I never crazy? lost a good woman. Like you know even what's... even up until even up until my my uh my ex wife. I just want to say like. Yeah, a hundred percent. I never lost a good woman. She's absolutely trash. Um, so I'm a I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Yikes! No, I don't, All right, I'm, I, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Before before we move any forward, I don't. You know what I mean? I make sure I'm getting your consent. This is gonna be on the podcast. I just want to make sure that you understand. That oh, that. right, right, right. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Did he just good. unplug the headphones too? Oh, did you unplug the headphones? Did, it, did they come out? Did they come no. out? Uh, no, they there. They, they there. They didn't come out. They didn't no. come out. They didn't come out. Yo. What the hell just happened? Oh, shit. Wait, wait. Honestly. No, 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 Trash. Do you ever... Nah, it's on 10. You oh, ever oh, felt that. like you lost a good woman? No. I don't ever. I don't feel like I've ever I mean, lost a good woman. At the end of it, either. I'm only saying that because I'm not trying to be like callous or nothing like that. Yeah, like, yeah. To be honest, like at the end of it, it it's kind of like I, sh- they, I saw that they were trying to be who they weren't to make it work. Mm-hmm. That wasn't who they naturally were. And right. At the end of it, you kind of see who they really are. That's crazy. I just put that post up the other day. The 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 monster that they were at the end of the relationship is who they were. The oh shit. Oh, God. That's a word. And that's why I said what that I said. That is a fucking that is bar. What I said. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. The monster that they were that they were at the end of the relationship is who they were the entire now, did, did this time. Now, did this, this go for men and women? Yes. yes. Have you ever noticed? Wow. Ladies, yeah. ladies and here, let's be real. Have mm-hmm. you ever noticed, right? Mm-hmm. That after you exit out of relationship with somebody, you now start to see them. Cheat, cheat. No, wait, wait. You start to see them for what they really were. The entire you start to be like, damn, yeah, yo, I I could have avoided all of this if I would have just paid attention to X Y Z. Or yo, you know what? That person said such and such. I should have known that they was this type of because they were that monster the entire time. You just had the blinders on. Yeah. This is a situation I just came out of. I'm not going to go into detail and say that she like is with a Nazi now, but you know what I'm saying? Like what I'm going to say is, you know what I mean? The the facts are these these are the type these Holy are who shit. they were the entire time. Holy no, he got SS bolts on his arm. Real Holy shit. I'm dead serious. Shit. But um and she be trying to have my daughter around the boy. We're like she has a black child. That's crazy. Anyway, oh. at the end of the day, yeah, this went somewhere else. At the end of the day, <laughs> no. To the left, to the left. Holy shit! Wait, are we not on the know it all pocket? No, you're absolutely right, bro. And you know I what guess saying? we want to know it this all. This is your truth. I, I can't keep it real. Well, yeah. No, yeah. you can always keep so, it being with me, baby. You always keep it a being with me. So what I was saying was, this is when when you look back on a relationship, right? Right. Right. You start to notice all of the things that, like your maybe your emotions or your dedication or your feelings or whatever, had you blinded to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you start to look back and you're like, damn, if I would have just followed my 
my gut feeling or if I would have just been honest with myself, I could have avoided all of this. What he said was absolutely right. Mm. Who who you see at the end of the relationship Ooh. when the blinders are off is really who they were because people love to show you or tell you who they really are. The entire all the signs are always there. Yeah, absolutely. See, the problem right. is mm-hmm. y'all go into them red flags. I can't. Say, I, I got to include myself, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have to. Yeah, yeah. You have to. We go into these these situations where we see all these red flags and we paint it out to be a fucking carnival. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. You're it's right. Not, yeah. I can deal with it. You know exactly. I can deal with. I can it. deal yeah, with this. This right. isn't so bad. Like this ain't that really. bad. Yeah. And yeah. at the end of the day, when it comes back to bite you in your ass, you go, "Damn, I should have listened." You know what that so does? So here's here's my question. Here's here's a question to that. Right. See, when now we people get into it. when mm-hmm. people get ghosted, mm-hmm. do you oh, think man. the people that are doing the ghosting mm-hmm. are following their gut feeling and saying, "Fuck that"? No, nah, most of the time they married. I tried, to, <laughs> I, I, I tried to ghost somebody before. Yeah. Um, well, I, I have ghost people before, but not too long ago, I tried to ghost somebody because I got that feeling. Yeah. Um, it was something that they did or whatever, but not something that they did outright. Like it was just like right, but it was just like certain behavior, certain yeah, movements. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. something's telling me this is not it. Yeah. And I tried to do it. It didn't work out, and I wound up going back. Which mm. was on me. Uh, and then it wound up happening anyway. The, oh, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, so right. So you like saw the writing on the wall. Mm-hmm. Your instinct sometimes. Like, your yes. gut will tell you. Listen, always go with your gut. Because. Well, maybe look. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and justify. I'm not going to sit here and justify ghosting somebody because yeah. you're right. Being a mature adult. You know, sometimes you just you man. Just call, a spade, call a spade. Call a spade a spade, listen, bro. Pussy is good. That's what happens. So what happens is that that's able to, especially when you have that type of relationship. It, it, it happens with women too. They, they, they throw the dick back on them, and all of a sudden, everything is right as rain. When that's you notice, fact. when you notice, nigga ain't shit. But when he dicking your head off, it's the greatest experience of your life. That's so now, now you side. start looking at it. You like, oh. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe he's just acting like this right now. I know he went through a lot. Of his, his, his 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 cat got pink eye. His brother, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying his brother got locked up last week and shit. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like all that. So you don't really, you know, what I'm saying that's the cat got pink eye. No, you feed into a bunch of bullshit that you should have no, known that's better for. Yeah. So that's a fact. Yes, people do show I have show been, you what you who you, call. you are at the big date. I have been on both sides of that real mm-hmm. rap. I have been I have been the person who has been made excuses to. I have been the person who has been made excuses for. And let me tell you, on either side of that fence is dick. Like, yeah. real rap. But you know what's crazy? Real rap. You know what's crazy? In a marriage. Oh, you know, that's good. you spend time in a marriage or whatnot. The one thing that I'm going to tell you. Let's do it. The one thing I'm going to tell you is that you you can as easily find these things when you're married. And you can. You find you what things? Find these type of things that might be writing on the wall or. or uh, 100% or things, agree. Right, right, when you're married. 100% right? agree. It's all about the way that it's challenged, and it's all about the way that it's accepted by the challengee. So mm-hmm. when a person confronts it, and that's what it is, you confront it first and foremost right. and say, listen, the shit you doing is some fuck shit, and I don't appreciate it. So essentially what you start to do is you start, you can weigh an option from there. There's a lot of time that goes past why people marry, like you said before, you see the worst out of a motherfucker, they've been married for 20 years, and all mm-hmm. of a sudden she doing shit out of character. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that is who she was all along. But it's also about the way she, she internalizes you calling it out on her, or him calling it out on, you know what I mean? You, you calling it out on him. Or lack thereof. Exactly. Or, or at the right, same right. time, philosophically speaking, you know, I mean, we should rise to the best versions of ourselves. Yeah. I mean, I could uh, degenerate into the worst sides of me, the worst person I could ever be if the right circumstances present themselves. Yeah. And I'm just not, I'm too weak in some sense, right? But who does that, though? Because that, that's too much like the right thing. That yeah. there, There's a level of maturity that goes along with a breakup mm-hmm. that's, that's ridiculous. Most people are so fucking out of character. They don't because what all you're trying to do is to get one up on another motherfucker. If the person hurts you, you want them to feel your hurt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I if, feel like that's if, nut shit. Right. If you're feeling like, or if you hurt a person or whatnot, you're trying to shield yourself up enough to say, "Hey, listen, you hurt me too." So I need to find I need to find something that I can limp away with to say that that internally this is not going to fuck me up because I fucked up. 
You know what I mean? That that that's just from the the side of the coin of the person you need to that walk didn't walk away with something. That, yeah, the, the the person that fucked up is always gonna look at it like I, I know I fucked up, but remember that time when you had did that shit. Currently, you know that what I'm is, saying that is the the situation that I am in right now. Really, I'm dead serious, and I'm I'm glad you spoke on that, brother. Mm-hmm. Like that is currently the situation I'm in right now. Like yeah, I. But it's a defense mechanism, it bro. It is, and that's why I understand it. Like, um, I, I gently touched on uh what ended my marriage. You know what I mean? Right. So now we're at the stage where, like, you know, we're separated or whatever. Yeah. And for the most part, like, I, I haven't really done anything but post cryptic shit on social media. Um, yeah, you the king of that yeah, shit. You the king, king of subliminals. King of the sub. Yeah, if, you can if, tell us. You nigga gotta be. Rapper. You gotta be involved. <laughs> you gotta be involved with the situation yeah. to know what's going on and shit. So as I see, I, I said, "Up, oh, sit at it again." I I enjoy throwing out yeah. my subliminal memes. Cause you're a fucking Leo. That's what Leos do. <laughs> Leos throw subs. I, my sister Tiffany. My sister will text me and be like. You ain't shit. I mean, just, <laughs> exactly. Like you got to be involved with the situation to know. But from the outside looking in, you're like, what the it's fuck is he talking shit. about? Right. But at the end of the day, that that's what it is. Like, like this this person has had um, all these folks, like, block me. And n- not just me. Like, anybody I'm associated with. Right, right, right. Unfollow, block, all that. Like, just it's goof- not that deep. Yeah, goofy shit. Right. But at the end... I, like I'm not even mad. Like I put a post up where I was just like, you know what? To anybody who like unfollowed me or like blocked me or whatever on her behalf, I'm you supposed to ride with your folks. I'm not mad at you. God bless you. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I it's, saw that. It's, I saw it's, that. It's, it's not that serious to me. The, but the reason why that happened is because people were asking me what happened. Yeah. And I told them the, the truth, like not just my side, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not not just where I'm the hero, like my 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 faults, like everything that happened. And what she did was so despicable that they started blocking and unfriending her. And mm. she couldn't handle that. So right. she had to she had to issue an executive order as Queen B. <laughs> oh, yeah, to say fuck him. Yeah, 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 yeah it ba- basically. And that, so I'm glad you touched on it because that's yeah. what it is. It's, you got to find something you can limp away with to where you feel all right because what you did was mess up so bad. Yeah, that, absolutely. Like it, when the truth gets out, you just like um. So you gotta you gotta build this defense wall to where well the the, the reason I reason I shot him in the face is is because he called my mama a prostitute like is you gotta yeah. you gotta make something up that you could stand on and yeah absolutely just, absolutely and that's just but like like I said it, it, it's just the catch twenty two to that is that it could either go it could either go right or it could go all the way left right you know what I'm saying and it's it, it's either salvageable or it's not salvageable. It's either a situation that happens and you say to yourself, hey, look, I can deal with this in the way that it is, but you, there has to be a point of confrontation. Most people are scared of confrontation. Mm. So what happens is that when you confront it, you know what I'm saying, wholeheartedly, and you say, listen, I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the way that it's internalized by the person. If the person is always on defense, you'll, you'll have times where either one or two things, either, either you're making this decision to, to say, okay, we in this point blank period right if it's not super duper egregious we got to deal we we got to deal with this I, and if i don't talk to you for two three days and you got to come back to me and say well what the problem is this is the fucking problem yo right and it's a problem for me beyond what you feel like it is because most people are, are selfish in their own right they don't people feel the worst thing the person can do is to is to explain to you what they meant and and think that the way that they make you feel is not valid you know what I'm saying? Like you, 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 you. The way that you make me feel is not up to you. Mm-hmm. It's not up to you. It's never up to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So essentially, and and vice versa. You can't so, blame so, somebody for how they react. Exactly. So if I make you feel a way, I can't argue my fucking point. Only thing I can say is that that's not my intention. My right. intention is this. But guess what? This is the number one factor in all of life. Nobody gives a fuck about your intentions. Yeah. Road nobody, to with them. nobody cares about your intentions. They care about what's tangible, Thanks. what they can see, what they can touch, what they can understand. What they can feel. Like what they can feel. This is fucking, this is oh, life. Man, this she is, got misty out over there. Oh, no, 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 this is, Hell no. But no, but this, but wait this. Wait a minute. But fifteen percent. I was about to say, wait, is that the fifteen? I was about to say, is that the fifteen? Not coming out right now. Shit. 
But this is like this is real though because there's so many people that I know that are at that that crossroad, and I pray for you. But I, like I told you, brother, you know I hit you up. I said, you know, whenever you need, you know, what I'm saying I'm praying for you, bro. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Right. And I and I because I, I can understand the portion of of being where you are, you know what I mean, and 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 feeling the way that you feel or whatnot. And oh man, I can't say that I feel like it's exactly what it is because I, I you know, what I mean, I'm not in your shoes and I'm not in your relationship. But my thing is always going to be. The relationship is always going to be defined on not only your wins and your losses, but how you take your wins and your losses. Exactly. Period. I you know have, what I'm saying? I've just, tried to to do my best to take all of this in stride. Mm-hmm. And I just want to go on record and say, um, you you could comb the world. I don't I don't think anybody has had a crazier six months than I than I have had. Yeah, uh, unless you somewhere over there fighting in a, in a, in a war we got going on right now, like yeah. unless you somewhere over there, like doing, I don't think anybody has had a crazy six months. Yeah, than I've had like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I'm 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 yo legitimately legitimately like this is just like the like. It's like the coup de grace. Yeah, this, this, like, this, this is the iceberg. Yeah, like just, 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 the, like just, just, just the, top. That's the top of the iceberg Listen, that you can just, see. You don't see what's the, going on underneath. The tip of the iceberg mm-hmm. is I'm in custody court fighting to keep my daughter away from a skinhead. Jesus. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Right. right. I'm in custody court fighting to keep my daughter away. My black child. My black child right. away from a skinhead. Who's that's visibly. Right. Visibly. Right. Got, I presented the, the shit in court. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know what I mean. Now, I can understand, that, it, and that's like just the is. tip of the iceberg. The We're not going to talk about all the people who died, all the other like we. Yeah, yeah. And so this, this is so this <laughs> is my talk thing. about what you can yeah, see. Yeah, we just talking about like the visible, and I'm not even going into too deep a detail about that because right. it's like you know it, it's cases pending, so yeah. I can't really. Yeah, talk yeah, no, 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 absolutely, crazy. absolutely, and I wouldn't want that. you to. And yeah, that, yeah, you know what I mean. Any of that, I would. You know, I'm trying to put nothing in jail. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not going to mention no names. It's just no, no, absolutely none of that. But at the end of the day. At the end of the day, like I, 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 I'm gonna go on record and say I don't, I don't think it's anybody who had a crazier six months than I have had. No, no, you're absolutely right. The only person, <laughs> the only person that I can say that I feel like might have had a crazier six months than you. Okay, all right. Met a guy at my job. I work in Jersey. We can, right. we can get ready to close out after this because this has been crazy, great. I love all of y'all. Y'all, y'all did y'all fucking thing today. This, um, this guy at my job. Older guy, older white guys, mechanic shop. He fixed buses. You know, what I mean, this is for the, for the 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 um, you know where um, Barnegat, Barnegat, New Jersey is, no. right by LBI. It's like you know, what I mean, by the shore. Okay. Um, he works for the school district. He's a mechanic for the buses. So you know, I'm going there and see him every week, every week. You know what I'm saying? And then one week I didn't see him. Two weeks I didn't see him. Three weeks I didn't see him. Mm. And I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? What's up with Mike? You know what I mean? And so I, I stopped past there this week. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's been out for probably about, it's probably been about a month and a half now. And I'm like, damn, Mike, what's up? Now you run into him. He's there. I'm like, what's up? He's like, man, let me tell you something. He was like, craziest thing ever, man. He was like, I'm surprised that I'm back at work. I'm kind of on light duty right now. Um, he said, back in January, I had a massive heart attack. Mm. He said a massive heart attack. He said he coded on a helicopter. So so they, they had to take him and they had to airlift him. He coded on a helicopter. And then he said, I he was like, I've never felt more helpless. You know what I mean? Because when he got me to the hospital, they wheeled me back, you know, to put whatever stents, you know, they had to do in his chest and all that. And he, he explained to me what happened when he coded. And it was just so happened that I was I had to be there in order to talk to him to to you know just to hear that he was I was like yo if you don't mind me asking what happened he said duh he was like the light is real he said the light is real he said I was gone he was like and I didn't feel anything he was like and the only thing that I kept seeing was uh um people from my childhood people from my childhood that I grew up with but they were at they were the age they were and then I asked him I said well what is that you know what I mean what is that like he was like well I also was a child now mind you this man is is he's, I think he's he's 59 years old and I'm like 
well, what is he? He's like, I don't know. So I came up with my own theory. I was like, well, what if, you know, when people say your light flash before your eyes, you start, you, you, you actually, as you're going down the tunnel to the light, you start to relive those suppressed memories. You know what I mean? Whether they're good or whether they're bad. They're just, they're just back there. So what if you start to kind of relive them and by the time you get to the light, you remember you're everything. Age. You remember, yeah, your age and you remember everything. And then when you see God, you can finally ask him, what's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of all this That's shit? Deep. And he's like, you know what? I never thought about it like that. He was like, and that sounds like exactly what was happening to me. Wow. And he was like, dude, to be perfectly honest with you, it, it, it's with him, he was just like, dude, I'm I'm happy to be here. And he was like, but the only thing, he was like, the bliss that I felt at that moment. Oh, wow. He said, it was all done. It was all over with. He, they didn't matter no more. And he said, let me tell you something. He he was like, the only thing that I was worried about was leaving my, my wife behind. Mm. He's like because there was you know nothing I could do. He's like I see the look on her face that she would you know I mean I feel like she would be lost without me. And he said and and, and that just made me think to say this to him. I said that's why you don't sweat small stuff because <laughs> and it's all small. Mm. Yeah. It's all small. Like like it's all small. You th- if you want to hear God laugh, tell him you got a plan. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, you know I'm saying oh, you, you go give you something. Yeah, you know I mean, and it let you know like oh yeah yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, I know what you was trying to watch do. Watch this. This why, wait, hold my beer. You know what I'm saying? Hold my beer. Watch this. Like you you really, really gotta take a lot of things in the stride. And it sucks because we're human and we're full of emotion and mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And these things affect us in so much of a way. And but the only thing that we fight and force is is some sort of complacency in this life. Mm-hmm. Because everything after and everything beyond it don't you know what I'm saying? This shit don't mean nothing. Everything is for rent. Everything nice. is for rent. We leasing. We on we on borrowed time, baby. So if you're going to make the impact that you need to make it, make it now and get the fuck out of Dodge. You know what's crazy? To add on to what you just said? What's that? About, I want to say this is maybe when we came back from summer vacation, mm-hmm. right? Me and my ex-wife was beefing. Right. I got on my knees and I prayed mm-hmm. to, to make everything good, make a way for me yeah. and my wife. Right. And my family. Yeah. Seven months later, I was divorced. Because that wasn't supposed to be my wife. There you go. There you so go. So you're making a God, way for your wife. Exactly. God is making a way for yeah, my wife. Yeah, ex- exactly. Mm-hmm. God work on different times. Yeah, yeah, man. different <laughs> times. Like, honestly, and <laughs> also, and I'm going to tell, tell you what it is, is that because everything in God's eyes is taken into consideration. So what happens is, you ever heard of a, a person that says, you hear about somebody that was sick and they say, or God or, cure me. Or if she was meant to be my wife, mm. this version of her was not meant to be. Right. There, there you go. <laughs> and that's another thing. And that's you look at thing. how many people have been out there and have mm. married, divorced, yeah. and remarried. Married the same. Because there was a person. lesson yeah, yeah, in exactly. the marriage and the exactly. divorce Absolutely. and then the rejuvenation of the next marriage mm. exactly. that you had to learn mm-hmm. to present yourself. Exactly. Both of them to present themselves to each other. And we all we always under construction. So so and then it's like mm-hmm. you hear about somebody saying like I was saying you like you hear somebody saying like I heard it was a friend of ours her mom had passed away and she actually had a voice recording of herself saying giving a testimony at at a funeral at her funeral because she had cancer and the cancer at one point had went into remission but then it came back. And she was saying she was like I pray for God to cure me. And the pastor said, oh, oh, y'all thought that when you ask for God for something that you would get it the way that you see that you was going to get it. Let me tell you You something. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she's gone, but she's cured. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What you ask God for. Yes. You have to be intent in your words of what you ask God for. Yeah. Because you can say, God, please. Yes. See fit to do this. Yes. But he may not do it the way you want it done. So unless you ask for it specifically right. to be done on the left hand side, to the corner, mm. down the hill, mm-hmm. well, you gotta be careful because it's coming outside of yeah. this. Realm. And it's not coming the way 
you wanted it to come. Outside yeah, absolutely. This realm, things absolutely. is different. You know? So when you ask for things from your perception, mm-hmm. that's what that's saying. Be careful what you wish for mm-hmm. comes into play. Because you may actually get it. Yep, I legit, absolutely. I legit. Like my agree. players are always like, God, if but, you see fit. Right. Yeah, yep, exactly. Yep, that's yep, what yep. I've please, learned to do. Mm-hmm. Yep. Please just point me in the right direction. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Just show me. I, I, t- I ask him to order my words. Yeah. Point me in the right direction. I get specific. You like have I, to. I get sp- like I you start. Have to. I start, Sometimes I just won't say anything. I just be like, yep. like because what, what happens is that God give me everything I want. Mm. If that don't do it. Mm-mm. Because what happens is that at you the say, cost of what? Yeah. You want to hear exactly. a crazy saying? Mm-hmm. So an OG told me because I told him the same thing I told. Yo, yeah. just now. Right, you right. You know what he said to me? What's that? He said, when the gods seek to destroy us most thoroughly, mm-hmm. all they need do is give us what we ask for. Mm. I guess I'm a uh, you know, fish out of water in this conversation right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. About to hit the head. I'll be back. Uh, yeah, but we about to close out anyway. You want to hold it for a minute? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say. You said you're a fish out of water. Maybe we'll, we we could talk about that off mic and whatnot because we'll go around in circles and all the different types of stuff and whatnot. Um, yeah, man, this has been super duper 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 fun. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. Like like I would really really. I I I love sharing space and sharing these topics and sharing these discussions with people that I really bang with like that. You know what Excellent. I'm saying? So. That's what I said, man. I, I, dude, this is where, remember what I was talking about when I first started this. This is the type of space and shit that I've been wanting to do forever. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the point now where I'm like, yo, I not only, I'm, I'm at a point where is that I'm so, I've been so locked in that a lot of times you, you, you climbing and you climbing and you climbing. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, you don't even realize you look back and you, you've, climbed, you've climbed Everest. And you're like, oh, shit. That's because I was playing the position. I was playing the lane. I was doing exactly what I was supposed to do. So you was focused on what you I was focused on what I need to do. But and you I'm don't still look at everything else. Exactly, you won't be distracted. And that's the whole thing. And I and I'm and I'm now at the point where is that I'm no longer. I'm I've, I've shed envy. I've shed uh, 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 comparisons because now what I do understand is that it's people that 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 probably is still can do twice as much with less. But can't nobody be me. Hmm. Just like can't nobody be y'all. You oh. know what I'm saying? Y'all, you know what I mean? You you you, you got to keep moving forward in your own lane. Play your position, you know what I'm saying? And get in where you fit in. And when you get in, fit in. Because if you keep being worried about what other people are doing. Yeah. You're never going to do it yourself. Exactly. That's a so, fact. I exactly. spent so many years trying to measure up to standards that were not my own that I lost track of who I was. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like in the sh- in the brief time that I have been free from previous obligations, I have it like I whole world has changed. Yeah. You know, I can't even express to y'all. Like, listen, right? Like when I tell you, I used to wake up every day and. My whole priority was making sure my daughter was cool, making sure, you know what I mean? Right. And when I left out the house, I was as fly as I could possibly be. And Man, I wake up. I I look like a Kenzo a lot of times when I come out there. I be, I be in pajamas and right. flip-flops. Yeah. You know, like a white bitch. Like, I don't care about any of that anymore. I got a closet full of everybody. Well, three three out of uh, um, the four uh, 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 rest of the, I mean, people in this room, mm. you know what I'm saying? Very familiar with me, myself included. Mm. Um, y'all know that, like, super duper fly. Like, that's what I do. Designer everything. Like, I don't care about any of that shit anymore. Mm. Like, I don't, like, give a fuck. Like, I've just gotten so comfortable with myself and so in tune with me and so, yep. I just don't, like, don't you, care. Like, you find, you are finding free. You're fi- <laughs> you are finding your chi. You're finding yes. you're finding, finding your content. yourself. Yes. You're finding your content. Yes. You're finding that place, that godlike place between your fear and your courage. That's a and fact. But then, then, it can, then you you're it. defining yourself outside of what the visual is. Yep. You know what it is. You know what it is. I got stripped of everything that I thought meant something. Mm-hmm. Right. 
I got like incoherently, like I got stripped of everything that in my mind I had built up to mean something. Right, right. And so now that I had none of that, now like it's basically I have, like I I can't even say like I have to work to get it back. Like it's available to me. Right, you know what I'm saying. Right there, you just don't want it. Yeah, like exactly. Like I, I could go to my like like a lot of my stuff is in storage right now. Like I got like more pairs of Jordans in storage than people have ever seen in their lives. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't care about it. It can stay there. It can stay there. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I got a whole new like lease on life. Yeah. Man. Like I don't, it, literally where I'm at, mm-hmm. I got maybe five outfits. Mm-hmm. I've, I've literally, I, I like live at Marshall's now. Like I just walk in. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, no, me too. Because and that that be the thing and whatnot. The, like my company be like, I'm going to Vegas next week, and I'm like, man, I'm, let me go pick up some t-shirts and some other shit. Like, like exactly. Because you gotta understand, like, like, no, like, like, anymore. it's gonna take me getting a stylist or something like that. Because dog, I don't None care of it matters that anymore. much. Like, like, it don't, it don't, yeah, yeah. Like, so I mean, as a grown ass man, I'm good with a t-shirt and a pair of sweats. Straight I up, I, I, I could have a t-shirt and my I have a, sweats on. That's that's Fast. the greatest shit in the world, man. Y'all got anything y'all want to say before we get out of here? Uh, I'll be on Instagram and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Check me out on Instagram. Yeah. What's your uh, gram name? What's your gram name? Lucky Lefty Seven I I. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Right there. <laughs> Lucky Lefty Seven I I. Sin, anything else? Oh man, well look, if you try to follow me on social media, I'm just getting back into it and shit. No, it's... Y'all kinda heard what I'm going through, but I'm just getting back into it. It's it's at Sin Marcellus. That's at S I N M A R C E Double L I S, man. And mm-hmm. you can follow me for all of my new shenanigans. Cause it's about to get real. If you let him shenan once, nigga, this nigga he gonna man. shenan again. <laughs> ventures, 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 man. Well, this has been fun. I got a day off next week. Look and at that. And now it's time to say goodbye to all my Negro friends. You gonna be a Vegas party? And I would be here partying too. No, you was wild and not coming to Vegas. You you wilding for that? I'm I'm still upset as you not, not coming to Vegas. I'm not going to Vegas, bro. <laughs> it's the last place this I ever like wanted to go. This is like the third so. year you've invited me to go to Vegas, and I didn't make it. No, so the other years was Dr. The next time, no, I remember it was for the fight. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, for the fight. Yeah, I definitely wanted you to come for that. Listen, awesome, right? Yeah. Next time you go to Vegas, yeah, I'm making it my personal business. I'm going. We going to Vegas, and I'm taking you on all types of adventures. I got a lot of people that live in Vegas. Now. Wolfpack, baby. In the <laughs> desert, looking for strippers and cocaine. Yeah, I'm gonna have that camera at the end. <laughs> no, like, no, like we gonna look at these pictures one time. Oh, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> Keith gonna wake up with a tiger in the bathroom. <laughs> it's a fucking, <laughs> it's a fucking jungle cat in the bathroom. Yo. <laughs> One dream. I got one dream. What was that? Um, if if I ever to go to Vegas, I want to see Jake Paul fight Andrew Tate in a celebrity match. Hmm. I want to see what happens. Man, fuck that. We going to look for strippers and cocaine. We looking for strippers and cocaine. That's 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 on the side. That's it's gonna happen. Right? And we're, no, that shit is a solo like mission, bro. We going. That shit is a solo mission. We going for strippers and cocaine. Oh man. Well, to close things out, I am Mister Know It All. That's Sin Marcellus. That's your boy Ox. That's Taya. Of course, my lovely co-host, Kelly Q, the Qster. Um I hate that name. I just want to go on record. Again. And my my goofy thing to cap off the show because it's now become a staple. I can't. We were just talking about the Wolfpack running in Vegas and, and looking for strippers and cocaine. Because we're the three best friends that anybody could have. We're the three best friends that anybody could have. We're the three best friends that anybody could have. And we'll never, ever, 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 ever leave each other. We're the three best (laughs) friends. Bye. Bye. Yo, peace. (laughs) Well, you shouldn't be such a smart mouth, Mr. Know-it-all.